I'm glad that there's some semblance of like professionalism that you're counting down. Welcome. Welcome to Pig Cake Live. All right. If you've noticed, I'm donning the pink mask. This isn't done on purpose. This is what happens when you, uh, I look like a fucking gay terrorist. <laughs> this is what happens when you forget your regular mask at your uh, fucking apartment. And it turns out, luckily you have a backup mask in your fucking bag for these particular situations. Because I don't know what would have happened. We would have to gone back. Uh, I would have had to take an oar for you. And you would have been the producer. Yeah, but then at some point we're gonna have to have cut to you, you know. Uh, I can give you like a, like a towel, maybe. Okay. Yeah, that could have been it. Uh, welcome, welcome. Every Wednesday we go live, and we talk about stuff. Uh, it could be magic. It could be life in general. It could be um, uh, females. Mm -hmm. It could be uh, uh, haircuts. Ooh. It could be haircuts. I mean, uh, you, your haircut looks great. It looks great. Yeah, we we both got haircuts today. Uh, mine, I think you took too much off the top. But uh, the beard, he kept uh, pretty precise. I like the way he kept the beard. And you uh, pimples coming out of the mask. Huh? It's like pimples. That's the part that I hate. This mask is so thin that you could see it. And then here's the thing. It doesn't have a mouth hole. That's what she said. So, well, I mean, if she's saying that, Oof, then... Uh, that's going to be a challenge. No. You drink through it. You just look like a fucking retard as you do it. So, that's at least the uh, good part about this mask. And then what I like is that it leaves a nice little bit of a stain here. That people go, hey, you know, you got a stain on your uh, stain reveal. You got a stain on your sh your. Is that does it look that bad? Yeah, it looks terrible. It doesn't look bad, but it could be worse. It looks pretty terrible. Um, I look like gay Spider Man during his wrestling match. <laughs> oh, that's right. You remember that one? He's referring to Spider Man uh, with Tobey Maguire, which yeah. is uh, how I know that. I, I you don't say the old Spider Man. You said Spider Man, gay Spider Man, gay Spider. Because that's the only real Spider Man. That's Tobey. Best. I mean, he he was a great Spider Man. What's inside of this? Mango. No. Bud Light. Orange Bud Light. Oh, sorry. Or you're right. Orange Bud this Light. This is a 32 ounce orange Bud Light that you've had in your fridge for uh, two months. At least two months. And, it's aged uh, well, though. I've yeah. heard that the longer you keep it, the better, you know, the aroma and the flavors come out. How does this look? How does this look right here? It's a bang. Do I have the eyes of a man that is one step toe away from hanging himself? Because that's exactly what I am. I'm, I'm exactly once. If I stub my toe in the wrong way, I'm just gonna say fuck it. But this you're is, one inconvenience away. You see the beard, right? <laughs> you see the. This is terrible. It looks like you're like stuffing your beard inside of your. Yeah, your thing. it's it's awful. But you know what? I still go with it because this is what the people want. Looks you simple. didn't get me the 50k by the allotted three month time period, so now I have to wear a balaclava mask. Anyways, we go live every single Wednesday before I uh, start assaulting <laughs> viewers. We go live every single Wednesday. We also have, uh, if you guys want to listen to the podcast or listen to this afterwards, we have links. You just wait about uh, 14 hours and this is going to go up on YouTube and you could find the links on Spotify. The soon to be ham radio. Right now we're not ham radio. Right now we're pig cake live because that's the way shit works here. Okay, we're delaying things because I can't finish a fucking series. I can't finish or start something uh, Neo, I, I've started so many series on a channel. I've started so many things and Hot I don't chips. finish them. Hot Hot chips. One. What was the other one? Uh, the deck hunt. <laughs> well, that's yeah, it's deck hunt. That's rip and piece. Well, because we had one successful one that it's like it, we we can't replicate that. What are you talking about? We had that one time where we went to that that thrift store. And we got oh okay, but all the ones behind I'm, you. I'm, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about deck hunt. I had a series where I wanted to show my deck collection. Oh yeah. Oh, I went to the park. Well, yeah. We're, and then the one we're, we're going to show the people's collection that never went through. No. Here's a little, you know, this guy's house and that guy's house. and Yeah. Dude. That was gross. <laughs> I'm going to do a close-up. Because uh, it looks like it's... Pretty. I could tell you. So this guy, Tenchu, says, I could tell you how Peter Turner did that trick to you. You sell out. I know how he did the trick because he ex he explained it to me. He explained <laughs> it to me. I mentioned that on the stream yesterday that... um. Uh, or I was mentioning that yesterday when I was playing Pokemon on stream like a fucking virgin. That was a great game. That uh, I was playing along initially because I thought it was a windowed envelope. But then I realized Peter Turner, if you guys haven't seen the video, it's on Illusionist, uh, it's on Illusionist YouTube, that he does a, a trick for me where he reveals a word that I'm thinking of. But here's the thing. He, he has an, a black envelope and then inside of that he has a manila envelope. And then inside of that he had a business card that he had me write something on. Oof. But he showed me both sides of each one. Usually in the mentalism world, when you want to peek at something, it's done through a window on the envelope. So it's just a cut, like literally a square or a circle. A ventana. You could stick it in there and you could see it. I didn't realize that he showed me both sides of the envelope. So afterwards, when I turned the camera off, he goes, hey, do you have like an actual idea on how he did that? I go, yeah, yeah, there's a window. And he goes, 
I showed you both sides though. And I go, fuck, you did. You did show me both sides. <laughs> then he had them turn the camera on. And he's like, you're going to fucking tell him that I fooled you, motherfucker. Tell him, <laughs> tell, him just, tell him what you just told me. He didn't say it like that, but he said, tell him what you just told me. And I'm like, I thought there was a window. And then I realized you showed me back in front of the envelope. So Oof. he did fool me in that sense. So he peeked at the information. I didn't something. know how he did it. Then he showed me how he did it. And I was, uh, I was uh, subsequently molested by Peter Turner. That he, guy is, um, he's so good. When he got me with the stuff. So I know how he did it because he showed me. By the way, I don't get notifications anymore for your streaming. Makes sense, all right? YouTube's trying to hold me down. That's but right. you know what? Guess who's not going to give up? Mm -mm. All right, this guy. Can't and if stop. it takes me going to YouTube headquarters... Won't stop. All right, with a, with a sawed-off shotgun... <laughs> your self-defense. With my self-defense sawed-off shotgun, all right? Me going to YouTube headquarters and telling Susan, hey, what of it? What's good, homie? If it takes that, then that, guess what? Your boy's going to do that, okay? No, your boy's going to self-defense... In a hypothetical situation, okay? In a hypothetical situation, I might show up to the YouTube headquarters and tell my girl Susan, hey, why are you trying to hold me down? Why are you trying to hold me down, girl? <laughs> All right, what's good? What's good, huh? Which what's never good? ends Never ends in a good situation when you say what's good. It's, it's definitely not going to end up if she approaches me in a way that I interpret as uh, harmful to me because if that's the case, then she might just get some lead intervention, you know what I mean? Some self-defense lead that's not a threat all right it's not a threat i don't want you to think that i'm threatening youtube or i'm saying Especially anything. susan who probably is a real person in youtube she is watching susan, this video like susan is the ceo sweating she's the ceo she's sweating right now yeah it's like this fucking pig cake. Uh, how many uh, 28 people watching yeah she's watching um <laughs> i it's not, i'm not a threatening all right i'm not threatening anyone what i'm saying is if i interpret these <laughs> actions that youtube is trying to hold me down as harmful to me or my family I could legally use self-defense. <laughs> using using the what method? Using the 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 spray and pray. You know what I mean? No, the two step. The two steps. Method. Oh, two step. I gotta. Oh, uh, one step was aim, and then the other step was pull the trigger. <laughs> That's the two step method in Florida, which is apparently something I've just learned from you. You need to have a two step process to reach your gun. Exactly. Well, when you don't have yeah. your your concealed permit. Dead men tell no tales. That's all I'm saying. Hundred percent. Just get the fingerprints in the window. So today we have a little bit of a talkity do, talkity day, right? It's the day before uh, Thanksgiving. Mm. There's a holiday we celebrate in the uh, United States. Every, um, every, <laughs> wow, yeah, <laughs> I cannot look less threatening than uh, wearing this pink shit mask. That's terrible. Um, so I have, uh, that's weird. Think of a number between one and 10 pig cake. That's funny. I'm putting a video on the Academy today, the mentalism one. Mm -hmm. No need to show, but I'm putting a video on, uh, this thing called, uh, well, I'm not going to say it because I don't want to ruin it, but there's something happening for you guys in it's case you guys want to know. What are you talking about? Um, no. Since, you, since you're not trying to say it, I'm like, you know, not okay. trying to like I'm saying that it involves a force of one through 10. Oh, nice. So yeah, it's kind of interesting. Uh, what's this one? Could really chop this video up and make it look like something it isn't got the mask firearms. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and a pink max nonetheless like, all i need is to have this video chop up if you send that shit to youtube they'll be like this is not a threat this is uh this is, new, this is their new fucking mascot oh it's not a threat it's not a threat um <laughs> we have a meme review There's no implication we have a meme review today daniel yeah. picked out some hard memes for me to review it's the day before thanksgiving all right usually on thanksgiving what do i do i go to my mother's house we have what is referred to as uh Brunch. thanksgiving at fucking 11 in the morning because that's the way we do things in my house. We go, we have um, I'm fake. I'm excited. I'm excited for, for Thanksgiving. You're actually coming for the first time. I'm beyond excited. She invited you, which I I mean, I guess she likes you for some reason. Uh, but I take care of you, bro. I guess. I nest you under my teeth. I, you know, t today I felt like you were trying to intentionally get me upset. <laughs> I was not. I was actually doing my thing called the yab. Well, you, okay. So you do this thing that other people in my family do that I've complained to you about on stream, which is you send... But I don't do it on purpose. Don. You don't, but you it's do it. It's who I am. Yeah. You send 20 you know messages. Saying? Like, would you hate me if I was black? You know what I mean? I mean, can we answer that? No. Okay. Uh, but you send me 12 notifications for one Two message. Two notifications. No, no, I got notifications bro. from from three Instagram <laughs> accounts, from uh, your messages. You sent me five. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing my shit. Uh, so yeah, so that's what's gonna happen tomorrow. Uh, today though, we're going to a block party. Oof. We're going I'm to a block party. 
uh, that uh, Gentleman Wake's wife is singing at. So we're going to a block party. If y'all don't party. know Liza, y'all need to follow Liza like so hard. It's really funny. This lady is a fucking genius, really bro, funny. when it comes yeah. to comedy. Mm. Like, no lie. Jerry, that Jerry character that she does, I swear to God, is someone we know. Like, yeah. 100% is someone we know. I don't like her because she's funnier than me. Oof, she's so fucking hilarious, bro. One, one thing to me, if... if um let's say uh, i'm in a relationship with someone which uh i'm a magician so that's like a hypothetical situation right you can't be in a relationship with someone while magicking but, while magic. uh, <laughs> if i'm in a relationship with someone right and uh she's I, i've mentioned this before and she comes over she's like baby look we gotta talk okay yesterday i got i got drunk it was wild all right there were five guys there they all had turns you know and i don't know which one's the dad right I'll they all like, had turns okay I'm giving you a situation. Okay. Right? Uh, they all had turns on me. I don't know who's the dad. All right. I'm going to be like, fuck, baby. You know what? We could we could go through this. We could work through this. All right. You and I, we're stronger than this. All right. However, if she comes up and she says, hey, baby, uh, John from work is funnier than you. She's oof. dying. Oof. She's dying. Oof. You say oof way too much. I do not. Yeah. I feel like you don't know what to say, so you say oof. I'm saying I talk then. Thank you. Thank you. That was easier than I uh, than I thought. Uh, so Thanksgiving is tomorrow. You're also gonna have Thanksgiving here. Not here, my brother's house. Your brother's house. Which I hope he comes. That'd be really good. I mean, I'll probably be dead. Turducken. After, uh, turducken. Okay. I've always feared. Uh, I've always feared um, the process of uh, frying a turkey, just because. But we're not frying it because it's a turducken. I okay. want to fry it, my brother, because you know it's so expensive. My uh-huh. brother's like, it's a delicacy. It's a delicacy. Okay. You know. Okay. So we're just gonna fucking. Like regular fucking people put in a fucking oven. You know, it's terrible. Uh, my mom makes nothing. Uh, she orders everything. Oh, yeah. Nice. What are we going to eat? Like KFC? Might as well be. Uh, oh. It's it's from uh, like a bakery that they make this uh, pork. They make this... Um, Lechon dog? Yeah. Yeah. We don't have uh, we don't have turkey. We have chicken and uh, we're black. We're very black when it comes to what we have. But then here's the thing. Ask, so me, fucking hype right now, ask me what's in my mom's oven, right? <laughs> what's in my mom's oven? <laughs> Plates. <laughs> Plates. Oh, well. storage. I mean, that's every Hispanic house. Like my shit's the same. Okay, my mom does not turn on the oven because she thinks it starts fires. I mean, she's like fifty percent. But then here's the tism that she passed off to me. Here's a tism that she passed off to me. <laughs> Ooh, drinking game two point oh. Yeah, people will be dead. <laughs> people will be dead. It is an orange. It's an orange Bud Light stain. Okay, there's orange Bud Light in here. Unfortunately, there's no mouth hole here, so you guys are gonna have to deal with a fucking sweat stain. Okay, if you don't like it, watch Chris Ramsey stream. Oof, he's not streaming. That's a joke. He's That's, not streaming. Come on, I'm streaming. I'm a man of the people. Have you seen his new deck, by the way? Yeah. By the way, what do you think? Hmm? I'm digging his so new deck. Just palm shit. I know, but I'm digging it, man, Looks because dope. it's it's like a cool little okay. like earth design with like leaves, but then he still has the first little uh, uh, gold stamp logo on it. I feel like he could have put uh, a swastika on it, and you would have bought it. No, maybe I should put a swastika Sh- on my shut deck, up, bro. and people <laughs> buy it. Uh, so my mom, <laughs> here's the retardation, all right? For years, my mom instilled in me the correlation of ovens to fire. So I, f- until maybe, I want to say four years ago, when I was living at uh, the place in uh, uh, the, the first a place, month. 1400 yeah, a month. That's, uh, when I was living there, uh, the person I was living with, right? Hey, uh, we should use the oven. I'm like, no, 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 no. The oven uh, starts fires. And then I realized slowly, oh, shit. My mom trained me to be scared of ovens, thinking that they were going to correlate to a fire. So I was passing off the tism. And then uh, this person tells me, he's like, you know, that doesn't happen, right? Like, that's not a thing. I'm that's like, not a thing. You're right. You're right. My mom instilled in me uh, the fucking fear of God for ovens so we've never used an oven in my mom's house it's always been oh we're gonna buy stuff we're gonna buy the turkey we're gonna buy the i think your mom's is lazy no 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 no. Uh, i've turned on the oven once she came running ah oh, what the fuck is going on what the oven's on do you guys know do you guys don't need to know you guys don't understand me and my mom just lost her shit she I lost her mom. shit uh the stain keeps getting bigger well the fucking no, dude that's what i was laughing because it started with a little thing and it just went like this. yeah what do you want man they it's don't make it's like a war shack listen mask. all right balaclava <laughs> all right they don't fucking they're racist because i want a mouth hole right now my audio is muffled i have a pop filter that's natural who's this okay so we have someone that subscribed uh i can't even pronounce the name 
I, I'm afraid to say that name without like furniture start levitating. I don't know if I say that name. <laughs> That's kind of racist. I understand why Piggy wa wears the mask. Ever since I started magic, I've wanted to hide my face too. So we're gonna enjoy some uh, Thanksgiving pre-made. Uh, I'm pork, excited. Pork. I'm like beyond excited to have fucking mm. yeah. Chong at Pig Cake's house. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking retarded. Gonna play some Pokemon. That's terrible. Maybe do some uh, karate sword stuff. That might actually happen. I feel like that might happen. The people that currently uh, reside in my mom's residence. I yeah. might fight one of the females that's gonna be there. Because she did whoop my ass in fantasy. Oh, I was like, there's no females in um, <laughs> the Technically, one... that's not a female. That's a. Um, that's true. She's a fucking. That's a. Yeah. Bitch. Once you uh, get married, you be you stop becoming a female. I think that's the rule. She whooped, bro. 13 points, bro. Yeah. Just by 13 points, bro. Yeah. Well, her, her fantasy secret was uh, one that yeah. had some merit. Hey, we're going to pick people based on their butts. Yeah. So she picked and people. And it's fucking working. For fantasy football based on the size of their butts. Do you want to show me the memes now? You want to wait till later? I mean, up to you, dude. You are the star of the show. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. So I couldn't do the show without you, man. <laughs> I'm fucking hungry now. That's the worst part. You I have, told you. You should have eaten, man. You know what? We're going to eat later. All right? And there's no... Today, your boy's getting hammered. Oof. Okay? That's what's going to happen. I'm going to have way too many of these Bud Lights. Okay? And your boy's getting plastered. And I'm waking up tomorrow, hopefully not alive. So I could <laughs> so just So then you're be, not waking up tomorrow. Well, I'm going to wake up in a, in a... Hopefully in heaven. And then they're going to... With no, your virgins? No, no, that's not the case. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wake up, you know, down there, and they're gonna be like, "Hey, dude, you jerked off way too much." I mean, do you know the uh, Pope does not jerk off? No, he definitely jerks off. But the Pope, I think, uh, I forgot. I saw the headline that he no longer sees masturbation as a sin. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I'm there was a meme. Oof. There was a meme about it that is like all the people is like, oh, the, so the Pope doesn't consider masturbation a sin, right? And then the bottom of the meme was that like Mike Wazowski from Monsters Inc. <laughs> like this. <laughs> The text read, all the people in hell for masturbating. <laughs> well, heaven just got a new batch of fucking people. Yeah. Yeah. They got a, a bunch of fucking chronic masturbators. I like that this guy says, um, uh, Piggy had, has an Aiton today. Aiton, if you remember, uh, is what Jabrizi said. Oh, you, I, I have an Aiton today. I have an Aiton today. And then he did a trick where he bit a card. Uh, and then spat the piece of the card back on the playing card. I haven't eaten today. Yo, I, I wonder. I wonder about the education of our uh, of our youth. He's younger, man. He's younger than me, which is uh, <coughs> kind of terrifying. Piggy's going to die a well, virgin and have to sleep with a dead ISIS guy. Yeah, I, I here's the thing, man. You try to uh, you try to find a significant other while magicking, okay? It's impossible. It's, it's like, pretty hard. You have, it's to, like, you have to like know them first and then trick them. Do you know what DWB is? D wb dead what, no what does it mean driving while black oh yeah right okay you know that it's hard to get a it's hard not to get arrested driving while black yeah it's okay. a thing it's an actual thing take that and apply it to magic it's hard getting actually it's impossible getting a significant other while magicking there's no I way i mean there's a kickstarter that, that you can you know support and it'll make you oh, the so fucking you hey, know do you want to be the life of the party do you want to be the <laughs> the way that read off was really uh really in terms of like hey you, we you get this kit you're gonna start fucking peter turner just got swag on him peter turner just got swag what are you what are you doing nothing okay you were reaching behind you and i don't know if i felt comfortable with that so show me the fucking memes man you busted out some memes today you had some uh, i did they're bangers too yeah okay some of them are not magic memes no actually that should be clear one's a magic meme. one's which, a magic which meme. we'll do that one first okay so what this is going to do is this is going to test my uh, patience for you because uh usually you pick terrible magic memes that you consider to be good bangers so today well i guess i could see what it is that you find funny you consider these these to be bangers uh one of them for sure is a banger i forgot what the other one is okay so this is gonna let me know your uh, your history boss magic uh, says just show the memes take the memes <laughs> off don't don't show the memes don't show the memes yet okay don't show the memes all right okay so right now go back to me yep yeah this is what happens when you tell me what to do Okay, boss magic. We're just not going to look at the memes anymore because of you. Okay, so put an F in the chat for memes because we're not going to look at them anymore because I was told what to do. Just show the memes. Ooh. I'll show the memes. Get a zoom in here. I'll show the memes when I want to. Okay, and if I have to self-defense my way to find who you are, boss magic, if that's truly your name, then I'll just do it because right now I feel threatened. <laughs> I feel threatened. And this is enough of a threat 
okay? <laughs> According to the law for me to take my open carry <laughs> self-defense grenade to where you are. I might just take off the pin. Who knows? Maybe you might put another comment that threatens me more. I want to get you a grenade. I want to get you a serious, like, legit grenade. I don't think they sell those. You mean? I don't think they sell those. Uh, Gentleman Awake says, send me address. Ooh. No, he's not. For real? Yeah. I'm messing him. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. Well, tell him we're live, too. Shut up. Uh, tell him we're live. So, I, I don't know. I mean, he was supposed to... Oh, my goodness. This guy's on Cuban time. Um, okay, so go back to the memes because I feel like it. Hold on, bro. Now, any time, like, you know... You, delay this for a minute this is why i pay him the big bucks the, the producer of the show that he can't multitask and uh, send a text and um you live in the hood what do you mean they don't sell grenades listen i know a guy we don't live in the hood we live in a very privileged part of town <laughs> you got you were by the hood yesterday you were by the hood definitely. i mean we well we were in a weird transition of a hood yeah yeah because it's hood hood nice house hood hood crack house nice house hood hood gentrification you know? yeah that's what it is. We're part of the gentrification part. Uh, okay, so could you put the memes? Yes. Yes, okay. sir. So we're going to the memes because I feel like it. Not because, uh, what's this, Boss Magic told me to. Okay? So I feel like going to memes. I saw the first one here. It's like a Ramsey meme, right? Yeah. Okay. And it says what she sees. I mean, okay. So it's a dated meme <laughs> format. But this time it's just applied to um, to Ramsey. To, to our boy Ramsey. Shout out to Chris Ramsey, bro. Uh, so it says what she sees. And then, uh, what's the bottom? What's, what's it saying the bottom? That's it. It's, it's just his face looking at you. What she sees. So there's no context. It's just what she sees. It's like, you know, like you're banging her. But yeah, but it's supposed to have the upper half of the meme. It's supposed to have, I forgot, I think if it's Riley Reed, or like this, right? And it censors what's in her mouth. This is half of the meme. Which I'm a big fan of Riley Reed. Shout out. I don't like professionals. I met her. She's a fucking dick. Did she? She's a fucking dick, You bro. are what you eat. Hmm? I said, you are what you eat. <laughs> Cause I went, to, you know, I went to like a, a fucking porn convention. No, you didn't. I did. Okay, get off the memes. Oh my god. Get off the memes. I'm making you work here today. You are, bro. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Go back to the uh, the shot where you're there. Daniel, let me tell you something. Okay. And I'm looking at the camera, even though I'm talking to you. There's a certain level of I want to say not scummery, grossness. <laughs> okay. There's a certain level of of just like gross dude, bro. That takes to pay for a porn convention. Have you ever been to one? No. That's why you don't know what's up. Okay. This shit goes down. Okay, please explain to me about your convention. What? You've never, bro, por- so it's essentially, um, it's like any fucking Comic Con. Yeah, it's, it's just a, a bunch, bunch of, of adult gross, entertainers. Gross dudes. It's, well, but it's everything, dude. It's a bunch of adult entertainers, okay? Local strippers, pretty much. Are the models walking around? Okay. And uh, you just meet, dude. I met Ron Jeremy. I was dating this Colombian chick at the time, mm-hmm. and he like went off on my fucking chick, bro. Like and everything. I was like, Ron Jeremy just fucking motivated my chick. I was like fucking ecstatic. You got half cucked by uh, Ron. Jer- Is that? Oh, I don't know. He hasn't texted me. Okay, that'd be wild if that was him. Oh. I doubt it. Um. So yeah, but okay. The point of me uh, taking you here to this uh, angle here. The people that show up because I've seen films, yeah. I've seen pornographic videos. Yeah, but it's the after parties too that are fucking bangers, bro. Literally. Yeah, but the people that go to conventions are like gross dudes. Any convention. That's a male voice. Yeah, it's a male voice. There's no way though. You want to check? He would have texted me, dude. You think? Yeah, bro. He would have just show up. Maybe he would. You never know. Should I change that? I'm going to change the title uh, to featuring, maybe. So I'm <laughs> going to go featuring, maybe, the gentleman wake. You might have to stall. Oh, yeah? And banter. Oh, I'm going to have to take over the show for once. Yeah. Okay. Without the uh, need of a... Uh, well, I mean, you didn't even show the memes here. The memes are like half, uh, half, half fast. Oh my goodness, bro. The amount of... Uh, see, I don't like getting texts. That's one of the things I don't like. When I get texts, I get overwhelmed. So here I'm getting 14,000 texts about irrelevant things that get me overwhelmed. But uh, now that Daniel is in here, we could talk smack about Daniel and talk about, uh, well, things that are pertinent to not only me, but the direction of the channel. Send me your resumes, okay? Send me your resumes. Because honestly, every time I sit down here and I'm like, oh yeah, we're going to have a live stream. Daniel's your producer. 
I want to hang myself a little bit more. So send me your resumes, pick K with two E's at gmail.com. And uh, we'll see if we could get you uh, a producer, a producer part here, as opposed to uh, having somebody that doesn't even know how to properly change the camera angles. Oh, he's back. Are you talking shit? No. Uh, so he's, uh, it wasn't him? No, it's Franz. Oh, your boy? Okay. Nine grand. <laughs> it's nine grand. So let's take a look at the memes here. Okay. Let's go back to the memes. That Ramsey meme. I'm gonna say that's a, that's a half of a meme. That Ramsey meme is half of a meme. Uh, so I'm gonna go for uh, probably, I'm trying to think of what I rated the last one. I'm gonna say two out of 10. That's like a, okay. That's two right. out of 10. I mean, it was just a Chris Ramsey meme. Yeah. That was just No, but it's half a meme. It's, well, because the other half is below Chris Ramsey. What's, okay. But it's not there in that the picture. That was a banger. That it's was a banger. Terrible. What do you guys think of this type of meme? Feedback is greatly appreciated. I, I have some feedback. That's half of a meme. Where's the rest of the meme? <laughs> Who said that? The person that made the meme. Ma magicians only memes. He said, uh, where's the rest of the meme? You know what I don't like? I, I like telling people, by the way. This is what I was telling on the camera here. I like telling people <laughs> what my plans are. And uh, <clears throat> them not understanding. They're, they're like, oh, hey, you coming out? I'm going to be out. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to be out, dog. Fuck. Stirring the pot. I really feel like he's stirring the pot here. Ready? <clears throat> what the puzzle sees. That's funny. Brian had a better version there. What the puzzle see. <laughs> that would have been better. Right? <laughs> like what I see and then it's like what the puzzles. <laughs> right? Like that you could have incorporated that somehow. Okay. So that's two out of ten. Two out of ten for the Ramsey meme. Let's see the next one. <laughs> that's solid. Okay, that's solid. <laughs> Gotta tell my kids this is Donald Trump. <laughs> and it's Mac, just for the sake of uh, listeners. That's Mac from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Uppercutting uh, a pussy. That's D. Oh, uppercutting D from yeah. uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a, a 10 out of 10. Episode. 10 out of 10 meme. That's a CC, bro? Yeah. That's a solid fucking meme. That's definitely a good one. That's See, a solid yeah, fucking meme. But then meme. here's the thing. You already get, I think you get plus five for not being magic related. I mean, so. And then the fact that it's a fucking hilarious meme. Oh, Sonny. Yeah. That's great. I mean, that's it's great. Fun, dude. You can't, I mean, I, I could spend hours on this shit, but this the show's jacked. not about. That's the. He got jacked, yeah. bro. Jacked. This like, he's going to die in like 20 years. No. Because he was fat. Yeah. Then he got fucking but that's, That might be it. Yeah. He, he definitely took some <clears throat> years off his life with the, the fatness. Um, but uh, this is the... We're, this is like a fantasy. This is a fantasy. Did I ever tell you when I uh, punched the girl in the, the cunt? The pussy? Did I ever tell you this? I need to know the story. It was uh, elementary school. Okay. And uh, this is back when it was okay to hit girls because they were hitting you. Right? There wasn't ever a time, but this was particularly good. Uh, so I remember this girl, uh, we were play fighting in the PE field. Right? And then she slaps me. Right? So she on fucking way, slaps dude. me. Huh? On the way. We might actually have Jim and Wake. Oh, that's dope. I mean, yeah, if he fucking makes it because what's... We, what? How's that even going to work? I mean, the joke would have been, yeah. you know, bam. Unfortunately. And, yeah. Right. But, you know, it's Miami nice. time, yeah. fucking Jim and Wake. So this girl, uh, she falls on her back, right? How did she fall on her back? Uh, she just tripped. Bitch. And I punched her in the... <laughs> she fell for legs open and I punched her around the pussy. You went in for the kill? Yeah. <laughs> And then she goes, you know, it doesn't hurt, right? And I go, I was just trying. <laughs> That's so fucked up. I think it's the most lucid I ever was as a fifth grader. Uh, or actually, no, uh, I think it was a fourth grade. I want to say fourth grade. She just, she fell with her legs like this. And I just went, oof. And I punched her around the pussy. And uh, she goes, that doesn't hurt. I don't have anything there. And I go, I was just trying, you know, like, you can't blame me for trying. Uh, so I, I have actually punched a girl uh, in the... In the coocher. Hit the like button if you uh, if you if you guys also want to <laughs> <laughs> punch your girl. In YouTube, we're kidding, bro. That, that's not YouTube. Uh, Piggy got slapped in a sexual awakening happening. That's not. I I I'm trying to think of where it was. Uh, I remember this girl kicked me when I was in elementary school. In the wee wee. She kicked my my hard penis. Your wee wee. Yeah. What a fuck. Yeah, it was hard though what a because. Dick. I don't know if you remember this, but when you're young mm -hmm. and your hormones are rushing, you could be sitting in class and nothing particularly arousing happens, mm -hmm. right? But you're just like, you, you hit the table, yeah. right? So I said something gross to this female. This is fourth grade. So I've always been gross. And she kicked me right in the dick, but it was hard. Oof. Uh, Did she break her leg? No, no, no. Well, she, I mean, thank you. But uh, <laughs> she, she kicks me and she goes, what was that? And I go, oh, here's my... <sighs> 
oh God, here's my retard. I can't even. So she kicks it, right? And then she goes, what the fuck is that? Why is it hard? And then I go, no, 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 it was my pencil. And then I poke her foot with my pencil. I go, no, 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 see, it was my pencil. It wasn't me. <laughs> oh, that was rough. I mean, literally, it was a pencil if you think about it. I mean, yeah, my fourth grade, uh, my fourth grade uh, bone. What are we uh, going for memes here? Let's go for the next meme. I'm here talking about punching girls in elementary school. In the girls cougar? kicking my penis in elementary school. Yeah, so uh, that was uh, that That's was a, a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten for sure. All That's right. ten out of ten. This was funny. I thought this one was funny. Well, just for the sake of it not being magic related, I think that's also uh, helpful. I thought this this meme here was funny. Oh man. Okay, so let's see. Did you hike your special guest? Says gentleman wake. <laughs> is is he on the chat? He is on the chat. Are you? Well, I changed the chat to featuring maybe gentleman wake. Maybe. Because you never know. Miami times are a thing. Okay. Gentleman wake is like the guy from It's Always Sunny when they're at prom. Mm -hmm. And he comes in at the end, bangs chicken, leaves. He's there for like literally two seconds. Gentleman Wake is my fantasy when it comes to uh, <laughs> a male um, partner. That's that's my fantasy. If I could ever be with someone, it would be someone that looks like Gentleman Wake. You need to hype this more, bro. Well, I mean, here's the thing, dog. Had I known that this was a, a guarantee, we maybe had a whole, we had a whole bit ready for this too. We, we had a whole bit. We had a instead, whole thing ready for this. Instead, we're here, all right, and instead. I get a message saying, what's the address? I'm like, oh shit. This is the, the sort of text, by the way, that I would kill for in a different context <laughs> from Gentleman Wake. All right, I would love to have received this text in a different context, but instead, oh, so you, uh, so you are showing up. That confirms it to me. I wish I wish I wasn't streaming and he sent me that message. Like, hey, what's your address? <laughs> he only, he's in it for your views. But then he's in there. Okay, for the so dozens of viewers. Let's see this. Uh, hold up. You show me a meme okay. here. Let me go back. Let me go back. Okay. All right, this is what, <clears throat> again, you're, pay, okay, you're getting paid the big bucks for this. Uh, that that hole is terrible, by the way. Like, I just see the wet. Bro, it gets. It was, <laughs> we should do a time lapse of the video so you can see it progressing. Yeah, it's growing. Gross. It'll be hilarious. This is relevant, though. <sighs> this is why I chose it. Okay. So it takes one sip of coffee, my butthole. And it's like. TikTok. Freaking out. TikTok. Oh, that's what it says in the bottom? TikTok? Yeah. Okay, I can't read that. Um, this is pretty bad. That's a banger, bro. That's pretty bad. That's a fucking banger. I never understood what's the uh, connection with uh, coffee and uh, uh, the poops, the poopsies. It makes it, bro, it fucking gets me going. Okay. I mean, I can have coffee on an empty stomach and I'll be like, hey, uh, so I'm ready to put in some hard work. What are you looking for? I'm trying to think where we're going to put this guy. Uh, Maybe right next to you. Well, what microphone is it going to use? Yours. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to bring him here. Yeah. You know he's going to make fun of us for this no, uh, the lack of production value. He'll, he'll be too busy. Too busy with what? Taking care of Pickhick. I don't know. What's the next? Uh, this is a, That's it. a 3 out of 10. What? 3 out of 10. Okay, whatever. Bro. It's not a funny meme. It's a fucking great meme. That's like, uh, it, it's just like observational humor, but that's not funny. That's I wouldn't consider that uh, humorous in any sort of sense. Uh, what do we got here? We have one more. Okay, that's but I'm. That's it. That's it. What's this one? I mean, you had a no nut one. You no, dude, one they were they were. I mean, it, I couldn't, dude. I couldn't find good meme. I think we just tell people to tag us on memes, mm -hmm. and whatever they think it's funny, just tag Ham Radio. And then or that's gonna cake. be. Or no, okay. no, don't even tag Pick because Pick it will never look. I'm not gonna fucking look at that. No. He's gonna he's gonna look at your tags. So yeah. tag Ham Radio that show. Yeah. Okay. And I will post your fucking. You have memes. a camera. You have a camera. How about you? I will post your fucking because I'm gonna start changing shit. But fucking our fucking guest star that's 35 minutes late. Okay. Well, um, I'm just thinking, give him the laugh. Mm -hmm. And then there's a camera there. Oh, he's gonna flip out with that one. Why? Because it's so great. Because it's 1080p. This one's uh, might as well be 240p. This camera right here. <laughs> this camera might as well be 240p. Uh, it actually says 720. But uh, can you again? I feel like when I'm looking deep into this camera. People could see the inner angst in my heart. It reminds me of that movie, The Bridge, right? That I've mentioned from time to time where uh, it, it documents people. Where he walks the, over uh, a bridge to get to the other side? No, it's documenting people that have jumped from the Golden Gate Bridge, right? So uh, <laughs> my favorite part of the movie oh, is the protagonist, Gene, right? That's the protagonist in the movie, Gene. Everyone, literally everyone in the movie is like, dude, he always joked about like, what what's this? You need to read that message right there. Thirty five minutes late, bruh. I asked you what time? Eight, nine, or ten? Or whenever. That's the fucking slogan. 
are you saying a slogan, gentlemen awake? Or are you saying that? I don't remember you asking me. He said the slogan. Forget about what he said. He said the slogan, which is eight, nine, ten, or whenever. You also think Epstein's still alive. Yo, so. gentlemen, you just made my day, bro. I fucking love you. Oh my goodness. Uh PewDie Daniel. Nice Xbox Connect camera. <laughs> That's quality. That's fucking straight up quality. Uh what's okay, so hold up. So just to be clear. Okay, just to be clear here. Those are that's it for the memes. Yeah. We said quick, bro. Let's look at the voicemail. We said quick, bro. <laughs> that's quick, man. I appreciate it, man. So if you have a meme Tag that you would like us. for us to show, it doesn't have to be magic related, okay? We're gonna pick three or four of them. Make sure to tag hamradio.show, right? On yep. Instagram. Not pick K, because I'm not gonna read those. I'm not gonna look for them. Because I don't care about your Because I don't fucking care <laughs> about your stupid memes, all right? <laughs> Hamradio.show. That's where you should uh, direct your memes, okay? And then uh, we'll see from there. <laughs> my writer for my assistance. I got green M and M's, all right, but they're not the ones you chew. He is he. Uh, he's making reference to. Uh, he's making reference to like uh, I think Rolling Stone, right? That in their contract it says, oh. uh, and we want a bowl of brown M and M's. Have you have you heard about this? That's just flexing. No, no, no. It's so they know that they read the contract. Yeah, no, but that's flexing. Yeah. Like that's yeah. a straight up flex. Well, who's an asshole? That well, now they sell them. Now you could go to Amazon. And you could buy a bowl of like. Yeah. Back when the Rolling Stones were a thing. Yeah. Some you had, had to, to hire someone. Yeah. To specifically go and get a bag of M and M's and go one by one like a fucking asshole. They're making that ham radio money. Ooh. They're making that ham radio money. Ooh. Um, and they're, we're, we're doing. We're let's see. Uh, according to Anchor, three bucks. Is that how much we made so far? Yo, we're on it. We're what? professional podcast. What am I getting that money? Yo, you're gonna have, well, okay, so tax is what? 33 and a third? Yeah. It was that lawyer fees? Yeah. Same shit. So 33 and a third. So 66, so you're getting 33. Well, no, okay, you're getting. No, so now we're getting a dollar and a dollar. No, I'm getting a dollar 50, and uh, you're getting. Oh, because I'm not, because I'm a producer, I get less now? A quarter. Wow. Incredible. Yeah, I'm giving you that, uh, you know what it is? A three fifths compromise. You gotta blame that. And, uh, so gentleman wake also says uh, soft box key light so now he's being picky is. i regret i don't know what that is i regret inviting him to the uh he I says i need a comfortable one. chair and 1080p at the least well you'll get a chair well we can't guarantee it's comfort <laughs> you'll get a chair and you'll get a camera both things quality you know a light a little rim light too to highlight my hair this this is um listen you're gonna get a light bulb uh, I think there's natural light coming this, from your. Well, this uh, little lamparita right there too, you know. There's natural light coming from your uh, your fucking lamp that Which you. Which one of the bulbs is uh, fucked up? Okay, you 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 just changed the camera. See, this is a uh, this is sort of production value you get here. So we wait for you. Is this what you're saying? So we should stop the show. We wait for gentlemen to wake. We should just stop the entire fucking show because Why? this guy's thirty nine minutes late. Okay, and we should just wait. We well, should we just show. No, we should literally not do the show until we until he just stay quiet. I'm gonna go through the voicemail. That's my executive decision here. I'm gonna go through the voicemail. <laughs> and luckily I had my phone in my gooch because if not, I wouldn't have seen that message. Yeah, because he never calls me though. Because he doesn't love me. I love the, I love the <laughs> mid-afternoon rant call. Uh, so, okay, so let's hear this uh, I love you. <laughs> voicemail. If you guys wanna leave a voicemail, all right, obviously the link is in the description below. You could click on that. I'm on the way, but 25 minutes out. <clears throat> He is literally gonna bust. Yeah. Uh, in and out. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, so uh, if you want to leave a voicemail, the link is in the description below. You can click on that. You do have to sign up, but when you sign up, you uh, could listen to the audio version of this podcast at any point. Which is a lot more of a banger than the than the video because you don't get to see this fucking guy's thing in his face. Yeah, you don't. Um, I guess. Uh, or you could just do stuff around the house. I've, I've been told people just like fucking, oh, they're cleaning the dishes and they're hearing me. Oh, nice. Through the... Well, your voice is soothing. Like, I like to work and listen to your voice. Okay. It makes me happy. That's why sometimes you come along with me because, you know, your voice soothes me. Oh, I skipped the point. Come, come back to this. Okay, so... So the bridge movie. This is how my <laughs> mind works. So the bridge movie... <laughs> The protagonist, his name is Gene, and uh, throughout the entire movie, they have interviews of all his friends, and they're like, man, Gene was so funny. He was always joking that he was going to kill himself, but we thought, haha, that's just Gene. That's just Gene. 
You know what's fucked up? This is the clip that they will play. On channel seven? Local YouTube sensation pick yeah. cake. A local magician tries to uh, throw himself off a three foot bridge. And then Hired the same people that Epstein used. Yeah, that's fine. No, they would have killed me for that. <laughs> no, they just throw another body and took you to another island, bro. Yeah. That guy's alive. They, got, they broke his neck. Could you imagine? The Louder with Crowder bit, did you finally see it? No. It's so fucking good. Because the everyone's role in there is so fucking great. Well, he was just trying to prove what? That he didn't kill himself? Yeah, but it's it was like a, a parody. Because uh -huh. I, I, I didn't take it... The only thing that I took serious was the actual gadgets that he used to measure the weight. That's funny. Other than that, the entire thing is a fucking parody, dude. That's funny. Well, it's I mean, so it's, good. It's factual. He's uh. It's so good. He's like fucking. I don't even want to ruin it for you. You have to watch it. I, I told you. I want to reenact it, but for uh -huh. something else. Okay, so we're gonna have to find what like, context. Well, that's you know that's that's where you come in. I just throw out the ideas, bro. Local Antifa virgin jumps off bridge. That's what? me. That's me. Oh. Yeah. That would be me. Uh, you need at least a 5'2 height bridge. <laughs> That's not funny. Oh, bangers. What now, huh? What now? Timed out. Ooh. Timed out. You fucked up. You fucked up. You know, I realize people generally time people out, like in, a, in live streams and shit. And they have moderators, and then the moderators are like, yo, you can't say that. What? I mean, I've moderated people. All right, when they fucking, uh, cause I've gotten people to come in and say like actually <laughs> offensive shit. <laughs> Are you even listening to me? No, but go. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. go. That We're going to listen to the banger, voicemail. bro. We're going to listen to the voicemail. Okay. Someone just said a banger. Are you going to? Okay. Piggy, what are your thoughts on, uh, Malcolm Moore saying he's a magician now? He's been for like, I guess, two and a half years and coming out with a, uh, magic album. That sounds familiar. I'm just curious what your thoughts are on that. Uh, I also like that that uh, tasty delay that he had on that. Uh, too bad your moderators are useless. I don't like that Sima has the power that you do. I don't like that you have the moderation power as uh, being a suspect, as a potential butcher, butcher suspect. Who me? No, this guy. Oh, Sima. I, I don't. I don't like that because maybe you have access to the back end. Ooh. Maybe you see stuff that people shouldn't see. Ooh. Hmm. We'll see. We'll find out. How does that work? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just I gave him too much power. I gave him too much power, and then he uh, he put a, a rock in by the fucking Oof. coffee shop that we go to. That was fucking well. That we no longer go to. Nagamore. Nagamore uh, is a magician. I think that message. I don't know if we played that last week or if we addressed it. But Nagamore uh, wants to come up with a magic album. He wants to come up with uh, some sort of magic related album. I don't know if he's already come out with it. I remember seeing this on the news not so long ago. But here's the thing. Why would somebody as cool as Macklemore dumb himself down by wanting to learn magic? Magic isn't cool. There's this misconception, okay, about magic. Oh, look, look at this guy doing card tricks. That's the type of thing they try to sell you on. It's a marketing bit. Magicians are not cool. So if Macklemore wants to dumb himself down and lose about a third of his audience <laughs> becoming a magician, <clears throat> coming out with a magic-related album, you know what? That's his prerogative. That's your prerogative. But, what I mean, how do you... Do a magic album. Maybe you rap Look about magic. Look at my double lift. Uh. That's terrible. Look at my tender path. Uh. Macklemore isn't cool. Macklemore's pretty cool. I gotta tell you, he came out with that Macklemore. downtown. Who's Macklemore? Yeah. Look him up. This is the producer role you got. You could look him up, and then you could uh, yeah, on your on their laptop. Yeah, but I'm gonna, uh, so who's Macklemore? Sh show people. Macklemore. If they're not familiar, who Macklemore is? He had a, a cool song. Right, oh, he had a dope son. He's like, uh, he looks like a, a combination of John Cena um, <laughs> with a curtain cut. And uh, I want to say like, like imagine John Cena and somebody with Down syndrome, right? That's this not guy is Uh What's this? I know we're not talking magic right now, but I have a serious, ma I have a magic question. I added serious in front of that, even though he didn't write that. What do you think are the most significant moves to learn? For example, DP, DP. I don't know what DP is. Uh, double false oh. shuffle. Oops. I think you mean double lift. That's Macklemore right there, by the way. That's Macklemore. I have um, no idea who this guy is. Yeah, he's a rapper. He came out with uh, Downtown. Downtown. That song. Uh, you never heard of Thrift Shop? Okay. Yeah, that one I know. Thrift Shop. That's Macklemore. Horrible. Okay, so he meant double lift. He meant uh, double lift. Can't hold this. Uh, not DPS. Yeah. 
Apparently, so the guys dropped some bangers, bro. Yeah, that's Macklemore. Macklemore is uh, apparently going to come out with a Magic album. And uh, I got to tell you, I don't understand why he's going to um, dumb hmm. himself down. Why he's going to uh, join the dark side and say, hey, you know what? I'm going to commit to never seeing a vagina again. It's not going to happen. You I'm know gonna why? Commit. Why? Because the guy became a singer first, an artist, then became a magician. Okay, that works with marriage because she stuck with you through the process of having to deal with paperwork. Yeah. Right? But with a crowd, they could just be like, yeah, turn off. I'm going to turn the shit off. Dude, I don't need to listen to your shit about magic. <laughs> I mean, no one listens to him now. Bro. You fucking bitch. I didn't think that guy was that popular. I mean, Thrift Shop was a dope song. One song. The other one, the downtown one, was fucking hot. I forgot what the name of it is, though. But it's like the, the lyric. And you know who it really was? It was the dude that was singing. The... The, the the fucking deep voiced like black dude that was singing with him Ryan hey, Lewis yo. that guy was fucking legit that's hey, the one that yo. I like I like those parts of the song better uh, so what moves are, are needed to know for magic uh, I would say a good control mm -hmm. a good double lift like, what are some examples of a, of a solid control I mean it depends I literally put a fucking video yesterday or a couple days ago on a control uh, like a sh overhand shuffle right it's literally overhand shuffle and you control the card to the top. Some people don't like it for some fucking reason because they wanna. I wanna do a. I wanna do a, a shift. I wanna do a, one of these. This is what people want. They want their fucking. Um, my goodness, the shelf is too high for me. This is what makes them happy. They wanna do. Oh, can I, can I get a control, please? Where the card is like. Now it's on the bottom. That's what people want. <laughs> no, that's actually pretty dope. That's what people want. People want retarded stuff. They want controls that are like, no, I want to control. That take years to fucking learn. That I have to, I have to, I have to count the stars and then aim the uh, your the back of my hand at your eye line so I could do it. Like the, f I don't understand move monkeys. I don't. So like let move me ask monkeys. a question. Where can this guy go and learn some uh, some of these some of these moves? Pick Cake Magic Academy, five dollars a month, two videos every single week. As a matter of fact, there's gonna be a video today for the uh, Mentalism Academy. Uh, these nuts but tomorrow there's gonna be two videos one for the regular card academy the other one for piggybackers because a piggybacker tier is a dollar a month that has like a, i think 400 videos Oof. but the academy has uh pretty much everything you need to know to become a great magician in terms of how to hold a deck Oof. how to shuffle a deck how to pick Oof. out a deck oh, history yeah. theory coin magic all right has everything check it out uh but case in point a, a, a good palm mm -hmm. a good palm uh, a good control what's a good beginner palm move uh, one-handed palm. Okay, solid. Okay, right? that's it. A uh, uh, good palm. A uh, cop too, right? If you're copying the cards, so mm -hmm. a cop is just uh, it's literally a, a palm for people with small hands. Because mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you know this, but my hands are a little bit shrimpy. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, that's solid. Cop. Yeah. Okay. So literally a cop. Uh, a good double lift. Yeah. A good control and a good palm, and you're really good. Uh, maybe a good force. So what's what's like a like your go-to control? Um, the Mahatma one, which is literally the one that I taught on the channel. Mm -hmm. That's your card. Oh yeah, solid. Yeah, because uh, not only are you uh, peeking at the card, mm -hmm. you could peek at it, but you're also controlling it to the top. You could keep it? it on top. Uh, it's the king of hearts. Ooh, right. So it's sloppy enough that people don't think you're doing anything. Uh, it's not anything too fancy, but uh, it really um, uh, it just hides it hides your uh, control within something that people normally do when it comes to a deck of cards when they shuffle. People don't typically shuffle a deck of cards like this. They don't typically do this when it comes to a deck. Nope. If anything, they might do this. Oh yeah. All right, and mix the cards that way. Uh, people might mix the cards that way. I've seen this one even. Yeah. I've seen this one. Right? Yeah. I've seen people yeah. shuffle cards like <clears throat> That's that. That's a weird one too. I don't know why people, like that front one to me gives Well, me okay, th this is a Hindu, Yeah. right? Uh, but in Asia, typically in, uh, I want to say Japan and China, uh, people sh typically don't do it with this overhand grip. They do it with this underhand grip which is kind of odd. Uh, but what it is, if you've oh, noticed, that looks pretty dope. it's an overhand shuffle yeah. done with the smaller end. So the overhand shuffle is this. Yeah. You're just literally doing this with it. So oh, I've seen people shuffle cards like this. That's a banger, this. bro. Yeah, it's, it's, you really can't do much from this position. From this position, you could do a lot. You could control, you could force. Uh, there's this. Oh, nice. A, I see what, wow. Yeah. Damn, that was dope. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. But uh, from this position, it's harder. Yeah. It's harder to control stuff uh, from this position. You really can't do much. Uh, one of the first forces that I learned was the Hindu shuffle force, which is literally uh, just call stop. Stop. That one? Okay. That's the force, right? It's the bottom card. That's it. That's all it is. You're doing this, 
having them call stop. Stop. They call stop and you show them the bottom card. That's literally it. Oh. What I like it is that, again, people don't understand what's really taking place. They don't understand what's happening. Yeah. So if you uh, yeah. have them call stop, yeah, stop, they don't necessarily know or you still shuffle like this. So yeah. when you do this, they just assume that's the card that yeah. you stop them at. And if back. you want, or double back, if you want to do a little bit of a subtlety, you mm-hmm. could also do this. In a moment, I'm going to have you call stop anytime you want. Notice oh. what I'm doing. Oh. Call stop. Stop. And that's the bottom card. Yeah. You see that? Banger. So you add little things like that to make it uh, a little bit more convincing. So a good force, a good control, and a good double lift, and you're good. You're good to, and a good pump. A pump. But that's, palms are optional. I, yeah. Whenever it comes that's to an me, expert beginner. That's a little bit more advanced. Yeah. But you need to know a palm. You yeah. need to know a palm. But, a good uh, palm people, will get you somewhere in life. Well, because uh, just in a sense of being able to, to have you shuffle the deck, you know, like go ahead and mix the deck, have the card and palm. Yeah. Right? Oh, uh, okay. that's what you did there. So Ninja. just that, and then also uh, as a, as a save, like to save yourself. So imagine, uh, let's let's do this, All right? So cards are here. Let's say your card. Let's say I fuck up what your card was, right? Um, so I do this. I'm like, hey, and you're like, that's not my card. Mm-hmm. I could go. Whoa, what was your card? What was your card? Jack of Diamonds. <clears throat> the Jack of. Uh, <laughs> here's one of my favorite things, by the way. Uh, Jack of Hearts. Yeah. No, diamonds. 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 And then at that point, what? You could just palm that card off? Oh. That's cool. How did you pick that card? That card's been in my pocket the entire time. Oof. So it's like you save yourself. Yeah. With that. So it's an important move. That's pretty neat. Uh, I like that. Have, right? Uh, but that's also my favorite thing, pretending to mishear somebody. So it's like they name a card and you go, uh, Jack of Clubs? Jack of what? You pretend to be an idiot. You pretend to <laughs> be an idiot. Uh, what's this quote I heard recently that said, uh, sometimes it's better to make people think that you're an idiot. That's true. Uh, rather than less. open your mouth and there be no doubt. Yeah. So sometimes let them think you're an idiot rather than, so be silent and have them think you're an idiot rather than say something and, and then there's no doubt. That, that you're a fucking gomabinga. A fucking retard. Uh, so that's also a couple of things that are, that are dope, but those are typically moves. Um, so uh, yeah, that's, that was a long winded. What's a DPS? The diagonal palm shift. It's a terrible move. I hate it. People are always telling me. What's the difference? It's a it's fucking. It's literally. Hey, these cards are fucking fat. Those are Karamunde, bro. Yeah, I How know. How about you get the blue seals right behind you, which are fucking perfect. They're fat, and then they're also like they have a uh, humidity, which is tremendous. <laughs> which of these? Yeah. Okay, we'll do this. So a diagonal palm shift. It's literally this, right? You take the card, palm it, oh. and then get control to the bottom. Oh wow! That's literally a diagonal palm shift. I hate it. What did you like about it? I fucking hate it because it's it's an <clears throat> unnecessarily difficult move yeah. to do, and people just do it just to like, oh, let me see your DPS. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, let I, me see your. Oh, yeah. yours is so good. I can't I even it. see it. I get you it. Yeah, but it's, it's a dumb move. What they used to do with that move, as a matter of fact, Guy Vernon, who's a professor of magic, if you really want to get uh, virginity, uh, he would test people by having them show him his diagonal palm shift. So if they could do a diagonal palm shift, he could see that you're a serious magician, and he would talk to you further that's about, hilarious so he would have people do the fucking that's move. hilarious dude yeah. we need to do something like that, that no. you have to show us your diet your your dps in order to qualify for something show me a move that i i could do like shit i mean mine is apparently shit i could do it uh there's other takes on it there's another variation on it it's uh this thing this is another take on it that thing Ooh. right from the obviously this is the most yeah. exposed angle. but there's there's different ways on how to like see that right yeah that one's very that's a banger, dude. but the thing is that again it's the fucking magician move mentality of oh i want a new method i want to do this i want to do that when you don't understand why you're yeah. doing it so why would that, you need that to do makes that makes a lot of sense why would you need to do that maybe okay if you're doing a trick where the card needs to stay in the middle and you don't want the spectator to think that you were doing anything yeah maybe do one of those fancy moves maybe do a pass right so all right so what is an alternative move to dps that you can do considering uh, that you wanted something in the medical? middle okay right because yeah. all you're doing in that case is spreading the deck mm-hmm. right so if the spectator picks a card right they happen to pick a card mm-hmm. and you spread call it uh they don't see much so all they're seeing is that you're yeah. just spreading the deck that, dude it can have such a basic move but it's such a fucking everything great move. it can literally do everything it's such but, a great fucking move but again people aren't satisfied they want yeah. hey, what's they this want the control? fucking level 12 for no reason i want the uh the gravity bong pass oof oof we were at a, a weed store. Double undercut gang, right here. Double undercut gang. Yeah. Look at that shit, dog. 
oh, you picked the card? All right, that's cool. Guess what? I'm mixing it in. I don't have to say that, right? Look at that. Brian showed me this one the other day, by the way. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> this one. I can't, I can't uh, do it well, all right? It doesn't help that I had Red Bull, which is my, my hands are like this. But uh, it's like something like that. Do it again? I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Of course not. So there's a slip cut. Oh. And th that's that's the false shuffle, right? Yeah. So it's just like one of really these. Good, actually. Yeah. There's another way of doing it like this, like that, right? Nice. Wait a minute. That's it look like, good or? Yeah, dude. Wow, I'm that's serious. Surprising. That's a banger, dude. But there are little false shuffles like that that play up on the, uh, <laughs> like the fact that it looks like shit. Yeah, and it looks like oh, I think you just, that's yeah, yeah, that's the fucking key. Wow. But I saw that on a, he sent me that on Instagram. He's like, what do you what do you think of this? I'm like, that's fucking hot. Like that's that. a banger. Mm. It's like Leonard Green is the uh, the guy that did. <laughs> I can't take that name serious. What Leonard Green? Why? It's just a funny name. That's his real name. I know, but that's it's a, a real funny name. name. He's the guy with the, that move. Ooh, right, the snap deal. I fucking love that snap deal. I'm gonna fucking. I, I feel like I'm gonna email him for permission. To teach the snap deal i hope so because that is a fan dude your snap deal is on point that's the gay shit i've ever heard but you know what i'll take it <laughs> i'll take it and uh the reason i'll take it is because i've seen people on instagram do this shit oh and i've never X seen had a, had a fucking uh uh live stream where he showed some dudes doing the snap deal that were like dude well that's the thing because i've seen like uh maybe three people do it well yeah and then nice. the rest of the people you're counting the cards onto your this hey does it look good what, that you're counting cards onto your hand? I'm extra virgin when it comes about the snap deal, the but it's, it's uh, I just found out what the Rosetta Stone is, by the way. Yeah, it's the translation. To um, the Egypt, to the fucking hieroglyphic shit, dude. That's, I think that's, awesome the, that? that's the code of Hammurabi. How fucking that's awesome Hammurabi's is that shit, code. dude? But the Rosetta Stone, it, it had three sections. Yeah, right? dude, I just found out what that was. I was like, pff, watching aging Egyptian shit the other day. Uh, there are so many snap deal tutorials on YouTube. If you do it, you won't get sued. Yeah, but <laughs> it's not about that. I, I it's it's not my no, move. No, we, we also have ethics, dude. It's not my move. You're right? a fucking ethical magician. I don't know. Oof. Oof. Don't pass out. <sighs> fuck. Don't pass you know out. what's funny? Uh, oh fuck. Oof. You're getting old, bro. On Pig Cake Plus, I have a flex out compilation. I got like twenty thousand views on that. Yeah. Yeah. I was looking at that shit. I'm like, how the fuck do I have twenty thousand views on this shit? People like watching. Uh, people get fl uh, flexed out. You know what a flex out is? No. When you flex. When you pass out? And all the blood rushes out of you and you're just, it, it's like Instagram. I remember those, uh, I went through a rabbit hole when I was looking through a bunch of videos of just people like, there's this one kid that's like flexing, right? He's like, look at this shit. And then he just fucking <laughs> passes out. Bangers. And you can't sue me for uh, teaching the fucking move. You can't, Leonard Green can't be like, hey, that's a uh, bented. But it's just shitty. It's just no, shitty. No, no, but I mean, I, but you're also a respected magician in the community, bro. Who am I? Yeah, dude. Chris am Ramsey I? knows who you are. Everyone knows who I am. Chris Ramsey knows to stay away from you. Who's the person that I care about knowing about me? Uh, oh, what's that dude, bro, that we never fucking talked to that was is, is a banger from South Florida? I'm talking to Lee. Lee Asher. Oh, Lee Asher. Yeah, but he knows. We're cute on DMs. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's something. But I'm saying like I'm I'm thinking of like somebody, like if if David Copperfield was like, "Yo, pig cake," oof, I'd be like, "Yo, dude, I'm about to suck your sixty, <laughs> your fucking three island, <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking suck having fucking your six year old cock." Every, you know what's funny? Have uh, look up uh, Copperfield, uh, look up Copperfield after show, right? Because every picture he takes, I hope that there are pictures that people have posted that you could find on Google. He has the same pose. He's like a robot. Oh, yeah. I thought people, whenever they post pictures, when they go to his show, I guess he, he stays there so people can take pictures of him. He has the same pose. He looks like a wax figure. He's just there like every single time. It's fucking terrifying. The guy does not have... That guy is fucking epic. He's a, I feel like he's a robot. Let me know if there are pictures of him I'm like after the show. It. I'm trying to find... Oh, no, that's just creepy. That's not even... A, whoa, uh, David, whoa, whoa. David Copperfield. I guess you would find like just like fans. David Copperfield fans or whatever. Uh, something like that. But let me tell you, dude. He, this guy is a robot. Like a fucking android. He literally has the same pose. Me and uh, the guy that started the league. Right? The guy that yep. started the league. Yep. He, uh, we came to the conclusion that we, know the, we know the dickhead pose. Like we know that every guy's... Uh, every I work out a little bit. So I'm going to pose on Instagram. Pose. Let everyone know that there you are two. work out. There are two. Okay. You ready? Here's one. Right? You see this? What What am I doing? So first of all, right? 
I'm, by just standing like this, I, I could fucking kind of enhance my posture a little bit, right? So I look a little your bit more neck jacked. Is, your neck is swollen, your neck, chest is out there, and your then, biceps are nice little Exactly, yeah. so my arms are up, so I could flex my bicep, and it's a natural position to flex. If I'm just like this, I'm an asshole. But if I'm like this, I'm just like, hey, you're taking a picture? This is one. Here's the other one. You ready? Here's the other one. <laughs> Which way? I'm Which pointing way at my friend. Oh, it's that way? So I'm fo- I'm pointing at this guy, right? Oh, that guy right there? So I can flex. And then also, here's the other trick. You ready? Look, here's the other trick. The arm is against the body. Oof. So it looks bigger, right? So Dude, your arm is like swole. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. But here's You've the been, thing. Uh, I'm stroking also f- it? I'm flexing. Oof. I'm flexing hard as shit. So this is the other dickhead pose. So you got this. And you got you this. You should do a show shirtless one day. Yeah, I, I've thought of it. <laughs> I thought of it. Just show up one day and I'm not wearing a shirt, just a mask. <laughs> Why'd you come into my house shirtless? That yeah. was so fucking awesome. But that's funny if I have like, uh, I don't want to be full of shit, but that's, that'd be, I'm going to be full of shit. That's less funny if you have a good body. You know, like I, I think I have a decent body. I mean, can I be real? Yeah. I hit it. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. It's fucking gay, but okay. <laughs> um, uh, so it says, it's hard to move freely when you have the Great Wall of China up your butt. That's uh, Copperfield. I think he's referencing the Copperfield when he uh, walked through the wall of China. Ooh. Is this guy coming? Is Gentleman Awake coming? He's uh, literally an hour and two minutes late. No, no. He said 35 minutes. He's an hour and two minutes late. 15 minutes ago. Okay. This guy complained when I had two fingers of whiskey in his house in a glass bigger than a bucket and said, hey, you got tipsy. That's funny. Ha ha. He gave me, he gave me the equivalent of... of uh, I want to say two fingers of whiskey. If you had like that trash can, yeah, two fingers on yeah. the trash can, right? That's a thick old fucking snicker. Uh, what's to say here? What have I missed? Says RB. Not much. Just magic. Uh, just uh, you know, we had a magic conversation. Talking about magic, unfortunately. We may have been playing Pokemon, but someone called me out for it, so I stopped playing Pokemon. Did you? Is that why? Uh, what else did we miss? I don't know, but I just try to bite my nail. The bangers. The oh, I dropped some memes, some banger memes. Uh. Daniel Carpario says, I just joined the academy yesterday. Awesome stuff. More people should know. So, Oof. Here comes the magician. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. I'm glad you're enjoying the stuff. Ooh, hey, me. if you were here, I would take a picture of you like this. Ooh, that should be your pose. Yeah. When you do like a thing with your fans. Yeah. You just fucking flex. Or just not show up. <laughs> or just have a... <laughs> oh, fuck. I walk in there with a cardboard box of you like this. And just uh, put it there for everyone that was great. to yeah. take a picture of. Like, yo, where is he? He's in Miami, dude. He's in fucking Miami. Not, not, he, he's stupid. Dude, that stain is gross. TMP deck reveal. Technically, the deck's been revealed forever. No one just notices. No one just has noticed it. Yeah, I mean, also on the Instagram, if you zoom in, you can pretty much see it. It's, it's been here, bro. Yo, can you no show one's... me? We'll show Queen. I'm we'll show you. Queen. Can I? No, no, don't, don't take it, but uh, show me. It was okay. Dead. Are you on camera right now? No. No? Okay. Do you so, want me to be? Uh, go through it. Look okay. for the Queen of, uh, why don't we get the Queen of Hearts? But don't show the, the back or anything. I don't know what you're, what ASMR you're doing, but it's it's sounding terrible. Oh, the queen of what? Hearts. Oh, it's oh, the spades are right here. Yeah, you, you could have done a fucking crazy that trick right been now. Cr- Was that your card? Boom. Loving that first Mark Spider-Man mask. <clears throat> Bangers. Edward Alvarez just uh, pledged $5 via Patreon. Thank you for but joining the up, Academy. Dude? Thank you, man. The uh, virginity is going to be brought to you. I get okay? to eat now. Is the, the uh, hearts. Why are the pips missing? The pips aren't missing. That's the pips are new. Or, yeah, I'm talking about the, uh, I think the deck. Because you saw the uh, zoom in on Instagram. Oh. Yeah. I'm like, where the fuck are they seeing this? How do you want me to give it to you? Like this or like this? No, like that. Like, like not like... so they don't see the back. Oh, okay. I don't want anyone to see the back. Wow. That was a banger. Yeah. So this is the, the queen. Now, what I like about it, which is a design choice that was done. I'm still going to keep it, by the way, this far. It looks so funny with this. I'm going to keep it. Uh, no one can say my name right. I always get Caprio, like Leo. It's Capricio. Oh, I said Carpio. Okay, never mind. Carpio. Capricio. So this is a Queen of Hearts. Now, what I like about it, Oof. this is an alpha. All right, this isn't a, a beta. This is this is an alpha. Oh, I thought you said this is an alpha move. No, no. <laughs> so uh, as far as the actual card is concerned, by the way, mind you, I'm keeping it this far on a shitty 1080p webcam. Uh, so this is, uh, we're going to change the pips on this. We're going to change the, uh, the... What are you going to change on that one? The Queen. We're gonna change that. Okay. However, this is pretty much solid. That's now, my favorite fucking thing about that thing, by the way. The decision that this guy made, which is fucking great, is the uh, suits are just raining down in the back. So the mm-hmm. suits for the uh, courts mm-hmm. are not gonna be uh, present per se on the pips. They're gonna be present on the back of the. Uh, so like you see the behind the queen, mm-hmm. like that. So that's how we're, we've 
chosen to uh, to do it. Uh, and I fucking dig it. I fucking dig it. So I really like. What's the, the difference uh, between now and what he's in? He's gonna change the the. So he's making individual fonts for this. So this is a like a not a custom font. Uh huh. He's making custom fonts. Okay. So but he's you were talking the fonts. about the hearts in the back. Yeah. So uh, the thing is that I don't like. I wouldn't like, for example, Queen Queen H or Queen Heart there. Mm -hmm. I like the raining. I like the fact that it's like kind of raining. You mm -hmm. see it. So, but that's so he's gonna change that a little bit. Or is it stay like that? He's That's literally just going to change the queens. Oh, okay, 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 custom. okay, okay. Because so you said the raining and custom. I was a little confused, but yeah. I mean, dude, that's a banger. You should make pig cake playing cards. What the fuck am I holding? <laughs> what am I holding, dog? I don't understand. You should make pig cake playing cards. What a dick. What am I holding? So this is, uh, this is just a queen of hearts. But yeah. uh, what I like is, again, it started off as, hey, can we make a deck, you know, similar to uh, these, as a matter of fact, similar to uh, those, yeah. right? Can we make a deck? So what I told him, was uh, if I wanted to make a deck similar to the uh, Peelers, yeah. right? And then he's like, yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no. So he went Great off. Great idea, he, but, uh, you know. No. He went fucking crazy with the back. Like, he actually went really, really good. Oh. And then, um, so uh, for the faces, we, were we weren't going to go with. Um, standard. Well, the initial one might have been standard face. And he said, no, we're not going to go standard shit. Mm -hmm. So he made this by hand. This is drawn by hand. So he Hey, Cal's on the stream. What's up, Cal? What's up, Cal? That's uh, a big guy. So he made this by hand, which is dope as shit. Wow. Right? Shout which out to, like to, to our, our designer guy thing. Brendan Jackson, another patron member. What's up? Thank you for joining, dog. Welcome to the virginity hour. You're fucking joining patron. All right. You're going to enhance your virginity points by at least 17. Who so, needs vagina? Yeah, nobody. Okay, is your boy here? I don't know. I hope not. Okay, because I just got a message. Nice. Is that him? No. Oh. Uh, so this right here is a queen, and that's all I'm showing. So you could uh, kind of slow down. I like it. I like the, the design choice of it. I like that it's different. I like that uh, that it's not um, it's not the standard. You know, the standard is usually uh, when it comes to... Like, I really wanted to go for, like, a base deck. I really wanted to go for, like, a deck that isn't a big deal. And, uh... I mean, he, I don't know, dude. This is a fucking straight-up yeah, banger. he fucking killed it. Not to be rude, Oof. but is this your deck, or is he making the decisions? It's it's equal, man. I mean, but it's all... It's your deck, but it, you also have to trust the artist that you're working with. Yeah, you know what I'm I saying? Mean, like, I'm sure when mm -hmm. Gentleman Wake was doing this thing with, uh, with Stockholm, mm -hmm. there was things that Gentleman wanted that... Stockholm probably, you know, said, no, I think this needs to be like this. The guy knows what he's doing. He's a fucking yeah. artist. Mm -hmm. You know what well, I'm saying? He's I, into the artist. My, my only, uh, the thing is that, yeah, I'm obviously trusting him a lot. Uh, he's making a lot of decisions and I've told him, you know, some stuff not to put and mm -hmm. he's obviously stayed true to that. But uh, I'm happy where it is. It's not like... Dude, I, from a, that conversation that we had, you know, the first time that mm -hmm. we're talking about it, you, him and I, mm -hmm. to what it is now, to this. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. No, definitely. You like, hide it, by the way. You should hide it just in case. Oh, no, I'm going to take it out. I'm, 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 I'm putting it back. Okay. I was waiting for you to give me that card so I can put it back. Okay. So make sure that. Because this is my prototype. Yeah. Ain't nobody touching my prototype. So that's uh, so that's the Queen of Hearts. But yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, there's a lot of trust when it comes. Could you not do that with yeah. the microphone? Shut up, bro. Okay. I feel like that's a habit with you. Uh, so the he's made a lot of choices, but we've, we've worked together with it. So it's not like I haven't just. Uh, he's making the shots. So we're, we're working together on that shit. So I hope that uh, that's a nice little bit of a teaser, right? A little bit of a hot teaser on it. I remember uh, the video that I put it up. I fucking hate it because I'm like, oh, hey, let me uh, bin wangs, right? There's a single card that's left in the bin wang box. Gee, I wonder what this is. No, not one fucking comment. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, people. Cal, Cal's joining. out of the loop, bro. Can you tell Cal what's going on, please? A lot, man. Well, luckily, we're going to repost this so you could see it. But uh, hopefully, if we make it in time, Gentleman Wake might Who's, be... Who's uh, uh, an hour and 10 minutes late? Making an appearance here. Uh, it says, I'm rejoining. Brandon Jackson says, I'm rejoining. I went through and canceled a lot of stuff because my card expiring. I don't like... Let me tell you one of the worst things. My card expired too, and I didn't remember. So I was trying to pay something, and it's like, yo, this card's getting declined. Yo, your card got declined. I'm like, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know, oh, because it's expired. Mm -hmm. But have, I, I've never been in a situation where the waiter or waitress is like, hey, your card's expired. They got to make a big deal about it. They're like, this card didn't go through. Hey, hey, no working. No, are, you, are, are you poor? <laughs> yeah. Are you poor? Do you have sufficient funds in it? Come on, bro. That's one of my favorite things. Can, can you do me first? Is this uh, the wake? Hey, kick. What? Can you like strain out the cards a little bit? This? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm glad. Let me. Is it leveled? Yeah. Thank you. I think it's level. 
Uh, what do you think of the pips and index on four corners? I don't like that. I don't like that. You know what pips index I do like the like the peaks. Uh huh. That it's it's small. The, that it's like the actual uh-huh. thing, but it's also like it's vertical and it's also horizontal. I don't like that. I love those. I, I love like that it. aesthetic. The four is the I British. I think I have something over there. The I four, I, I've seen them on British decks that they mm-hmm. have the four pips on all the sides. I like it because uh, you could uh, you could fan it with your right hand and mm-hmm. you still see pips. I like the no peaks. Yeah, those the no are peaks dope. are pretty dope. Where it's only on the queen. Uh huh. That has like a little black border mm-hmm. underneath it. I love that shit. It depends. It's iffy, but uh, I I just know <laughs> I, I like. Um, I like clean aesthetic and I like just two index. I like the two index classic American. Yeah. All right, freedom. I like the freedom pips. I don't should like I, should this. Should I go back to, to the Donald Trump reference? What was it Donald Trump? The punch? Yeah. Man, you already exited out. Hi, bro. Uh, has he talked about Suggin yet? Apparently, he thinks that I'm not what's a Suggin? fucking. What's Suggin? Suggin, these nuts. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dog. Like, I'm not a fucking. <laughs> You know, they still hear that. I don't understand. It's not like a phone. I know, bro, but fuck. I laughed. I, I don't know how to laugh like a normal person. When you would do this, and then that's enough, they, you could still hear if you do this. I could, they could still hear me if I do this. And if I cough. Actually, I've been... Uh, this, is a, this is a new mask. I don't know if this has been scraping the entire stream. Nobody's mentioned it. Like, hey, I hear literally... Yeah. Because usually the mouth hole absolves that. That's what she said. Why not? So, uh, where's Gentleman Wake? We don't know. I mean, that's that. Uh, true that. I apologize if I offended you 100% out of my thing. No, it's not insulting to, to suggest that he's making a lot of the decisions because he is. Uh, but then again, I'm not really an artistic person. Yeah. Like I've never been. So, if he's uh, making some decision that, by the way, is going to end up being better off than what I had thought, what, what initially what I wanted is. Let me see if you know. can hand me. Hold on, dude. I fucking. Just literally whatever. Well, any one of those behind you, up top to your, to your right, your left. These? Keep going a little more. Yeah, it's, it's towards the end. Any one of those. Oof, that's a banger. Oh, my fucking back. You're getting old, bro. I'm getting old, dog. Okay, so literally, what I had initially approached them with was I wanted this. Yeah. Not which is my logo here. Not my logo. I, I didn't want to go what like... What are you thinking instead of your logo? I'm not going to say it because that's the... Oh. The deck. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I know so, now. What I told them was, hey, uh, I want this simple uh, a, a mat on it and the two things here Mm -hmm. that's what i wanted right this he gave me a prototype yeah i said that he said oh this is what i had i'm like okay that's cool that's fine and then he said hey uh his i think his hard drive failed yes i remember now yeah he had er yeah he had everything done right yeah pretty much yeah i remember that but everything done being standard which is what what i told him literally was i'm okay with standard Okay, but what I told him initially yeah. was standard face because mm-hmm. I want to make it like a bicycle deck. I yeah. want to make it a deck that people would use. Because you're printing also with bicycles, so keep it yeah. like the whole thing. Yeah. And uh, I literally wanted, hey, just the two things yeah. here, simple. That's what I told him. Then when he remade the deck after his hard drive failed, he said, hey, dude, I'm going to be honest. I changed a lot of shit. I thought this was too simple. I'm like, okay, let's check it out. And, and it was similar to that. Yeah, I mean, he's a banger. Yeah. Honestly, I'll tell you something, dude. If we were working with someone whose opinions were not that good i think we, we you know a lot yeah. of more penetration would have been well he's always been an artist too and he made the logo too so yeah. he's the guy that made the logo Dude, come on bro so uh it's not um yeah there's no offense there but he's definitely made a lot he's of a decisions banker. and i've accepted decisions and i've also yeah, said man. stuff well it's also your up. final word it's not like yeah. he's gonna fucking say what the no fuck but i mean what? that's that's how i want that be. important bro i want that's how i want it to be because uh he's uh he's same thing that with the logo when I told him about the logo, hey, what I want is a pig taking a piece of himself and it's a cake. That's what I wanted. He's like, yeah, sure. Sorry. And then he made uh, the logo, which I mean is a hundred times better than the pig Dude, cutting himself out. And it's out. a worldwide logo. Oh, there it is right there. Right. Oof. <sighs> Oof. <laughs> which way is it, bro? Which way is it? Oh, it's right here. Oh, oh oof. <clears throat> oof. I'm going to flex out from that one way. No, it's not going to be one way. What's that <laughs> honking like an asshole? No, that's the little when you close the car, right? <laughs> Uh, any uh, gaps? I don't want to mention anything about gaps, but more likely than not, uh, yeah, there's going to be gaps. I, I don't want to mention anything about gaps when it comes to my deck. Yeah, there's yes. going to be gaps. Yeah, probably. Um, but uh, again, what I'm, I'm going for a couple of things. I'm going for uh, affordability, mm-hmm. right? I don't want to go for an exuberant price. What are you trying to get at? Like, like 10 what? to 12. That's a solid price. 10 to 12. That's a solid. I, I think, think 12, 10 to 12 is a very solid price. Because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm keeping it in a non-premium deck region. And pre... Technically, it would be like eight-ish. Well, technically, if you think about it, yeah. well, if you think about it, what the deck is, it's a premium deck. 
because it's custom everything. Somewhat. It's not a standard fucking deck. Of, it's not a standard. Yeah, deck of but cards. then again, you have uh, you have fucking uh, like the ladybug deck and shit. That's yeah, like, bro. But but there's also levels to yeah. it. But I think your deck is by far far from fucking standard. Well, I think from an individual creator, right? From an individual person mm-hmm. that's doing this, you know, pretty much essentially on his own, or you know, obviously, uh, with or whatever. I think if I choose to go with Kickstarter or like whatever, however we choose to do it, as an individual person. Trying to keep the price low, right? I'm not like fucking illusionist. Mm-hmm. I'm not, you know, somebody that's uh, done this. So I'm um, 12 is my absolute cutoff. 10 would be ideal, yeah. but I think 12 would be probably. Well, what we're you know heading. why I think 12 is going to be a solid number for you? Yeah. Because of the can I say the the boxes or no? No. No. Well, because of the boxes. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that yeah. because of the boxes. Yeah, but I, again, if that makes it, any sense. I don't want it to be like a, like a flex deck. I, I just want it to be uh, something that's but I think reasonable. That's value, dude. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. that's why I think organic playing cards again. You're why kidding, I support yeah. organic playing cards so much here? is because you're paying below fucking hype prices, and look at what you're getting. Yeah, dude, you kidding me? Those are pre- those are most recent. Yeah, the sliders. Yeah, which is dope. I mean, the, the it looks like a picnic, right? Because they're apples, right? Bro, how fucking amazing is that? And then it comes with fucking stickers. Look how cute these stickers are. You're gonna go nuts. Actually, these are for you. Are they? Yeah. Or do they smell? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. I didn't yeah. my mouth. I think the sound of you hitting it was worse. I know, bro. I'm just trying to not be an asshole. I can't smell because I'm trying to smell through a fucking mess. <laughs> like that's a war shack. Uh, but yeah, but that's- How the, fucking go- Yeah. Open it up, open it up. But see, like, that's that's- that's why our conversation when we're having that conversation about the boxes why to me it's so important to go through this length you know what i'm saying because you're coming out with something that dude come on man how fucking cute is that bro yeah. no it's definitely it's definitely a lot of work and a lot dude, of uh, i'm gonna start carrying my my deck of cards in that fucking little thing dude i pay 75 dollars for a brick of jerry's nugs so they need to be cheaper than that. <laughs> Which I'm never going to get my, my Jerry's Nugs. I mean, hopefully they should be coming. I'm never going to get... I've been. Everyone's getting their shit. I'm like the last one's going to get... Do you name your price promotion or pay what you feel promo? What do you mean? Oh, do name your price promotion. Yeah, hey, uh, guys, I'm, I'm selling it based on a price that you tell me. <laughs> 5 dollars They have lots and shit like for uh, Adobe Premiere. I feel like a terrible person every time I do this. But they have like... Uh, it's like, oh, you could use this uh, lookup table, which mm-hmm. is uh, color color grading for your pictures and videos. Uh, you name your price, right? You could pay zero if you want, or you could, you know, donate to the person that made it. And I was like, zero. Let me just download that. Thank you. You rich motherfucker. Let me send this spam to spam email. I don't even give them a real email. So it's like, I'm, I'm a terrible person. They don't drag you down. 10 to 12. All right. T- yeah. 12 is, is the uh, absolute max that I would charge for the deck. 10 is uh, what my goal is, but I think realistically 12 is probably going to be uh, the goal, right? 12 is probably going to be the goal. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's going to be a, a banger. I, b- my opinion, uh-huh. and I mean, I don't want to say I'm biased because I like all playing cards, mm-hmm. but I think quietly. You, know, uh, you have a cam- Are you on a cam? No, I'm not. Sorry. Okay. I think quietly your deck of cards, this first one, is going to be a hit. Because I think you're covering, dude. I I, I just think you're you're filling a void mm-hmm. that's missing in the card industry right now. Somewhat. I mean, I guess. Where it's style, where it's custom. Well, it's every, It's a combo. Where it's of shit. also cardistry influence as yeah. well as magic influence, which yeah. I, which I think is a big deal because uh-huh. people tend to lean one or the other. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's a good combo. I didn't. I didn't. Uh think of it as a, like a cardistry deck per se but then there's definitely cardistry elements to yeah it. like that's that's i mean and i don't mean that in a like in a no it's just people way like it. people i like honestly it. mean yeah. that as in a legit where that where that deck dude where the deck is right now honestly when when this v1s came in uh-huh the you know the the fucking prototypes finding them out oh yeah no definitely look are you kidding me it was a fucking mind blower bro uh, so you guys are in for a treat i hope you understand i like how daniel carpio says uh you still got to get your profits man Prophet spelled like prophet, like our Lord and Savior Jesus mm-hmm. of Nazareth. Oh, I got it. As opposed to prophet, which is uh, what you make when you are a SoundCloud rapper. <laughs> Let me tell you, the fucking skit that we had planned today for Gentleman Wake would have been a perfect fucking banger, dude. Yeah, it would have been, but now it's not. It doesn't make sense. Because he's an hour and 20 minutes late. Well, I mean, that's technically going to be our fault because we didn't no, tell him a time. It's never our fault. We didn't tell him a time. Of course we did. No, I didn't tell I told him. him. Time. I didn't tell him. I told him. You told him? I told him. Oh, wait a minute, whoops. I didn't tell him the time. 
I didn't say a time. I said, hey, uh, the last text that he got I mean, was, I'm more excited about hanging out with him, to be honest with you. Because we're about to do some really fun stuff tonight. Uh, you mean getting hammered? I mean, you know. The last text that I got was, yeah, I think I can make it. <laughs> Which I took it as no. Because okay. it's Miami time. You know, it's, it's Miami people, bro. It's not that he's being a dick about it, but it's, it's Miami, dude. So we made an assumption. Yeah, no, we didn't. Okay. All right. We made an assumption. He on that. didn't commit. And he's an hour and 20 minutes. There was something late. else. Hold up. Before I forget. Okay. So we had ma- uh, memes. We went mm-hmm. through memes. All right. Which is a banger. Uh, voicemail. All right. Which are bangers. Maglemore. We got Maglemore, which is uh, pretty terrible. The fact that he's uh, coming out with an album, but <clears> that's here and over there. Uh, we teased the TMP deck. Mm. So we teased Have you released it. or have you said what, what it stands for yet or no? No. Fuck that. Titties, I haven't said that shit. Titties, mouth, penis. Uh, that could be it. Some people had some... Did uh, you tell me what it is? Have you told me? Have I told who? What TMP stands for? No. Yeah. Why would I? You haven't told me either? Oh, I told you, yeah. Did you tell me? Yeah. I don't remember. Jesus. I literally told you. It's not on the back. It's literally what the back is, right? I like the, I like the, the aesthetic. I like the name that we came up with. Tomato. Yeah. I honestly can't remember. For the, okay. Like, watch me say it by mistake. <laughs> so I'm not going yeah. to stop guessing. Yeah, you should stop. I like that. The micro penis. <laughs> <laughs> micro penis. Could you imagine? Uh, but yeah, USPC has rules when it comes to. Uh, they have a lot of rules when it comes to printing. Yeah, dude. Well, I. You know what? I hope when this whole thing was going on with Cardamunde mm-hmm. with them purchasing USPC, that gets to change a little bit. I would like that to change a little bit. I, 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 so. I would like that to be one of the changes that happens with USPC. By the way, the combination of this and this mask, I right now I'm not having a good time. I'm well, not dude, having a good I time. I see you fucking having a great time. Because there's orange Bud Light. Mm. Who, who in Bud Light? Who in Anheuser Busch? You know when I cracked it open, yeah, and the aroma of orange just came through. I was like, yeah. oh shit, this isn't. I just it, like it didn't hit till I opened. I was like, this oh. is an orange fucking Bud Light, dude. This is designed to get homeless people out. Like you drink this and you're dude, gonna be out. You eat cat food and you're done. So that's gonna be gross. Uh, man period. The man period. I said the is the first letter or the first word. People are asking me, oh, what's what's TMP? The is the first T. Okay. <laughs> so you could figure out MP. You could try to figure what that is. Man, puss, no. Um, I got to do like a, a whole thing for it. Have I you mean, thought about... So so what are you waiting for to do the uh, the trailer and stuff like that? Just the new updated version and have everything pretty much done? Well, funny enough, the person that uh, was talking to me about this might be coming, right? Mm-hmm. And gentlemen, wake. And we're talking about uh, combining two things to... Sure I hope deck. so. I'm excited about this. Yeah, I'm excited about both projects because you told yeah. me a little, a little thing about both. Well, whatever we're shooting on the uh, that, but I don't know. I'm still deciding. I'm still deciding. All right, I'm being cryptic on if purpose. it's worth. If if your viewers are worth it, if it's worth it, all right. If it's fucking worth it, considering hey, hey, uh, three month, three year anniversary, fifty k guys, let's do it. All right. I know you have the capacity. I guess not, which is why I'm wearing a gross mask. <laughs> It looks like you face. just ate some fucking chick now, bro. The magic swine. <laughs> Would that work? No, that doesn't work. No, because there's a P in there. Unless you spell swine with a PH. Yeah. Or swine. You magic. know there's a restaurant on Coral uh, Gables called Swine. That was a banger. But did you go there? Never. Their whiskey selection yeah. was on point. Okay. Their lunches were on point. Never been there. They had, it's the same people. Fuck. Kush. No, no. It's the same people with that restaurant on South Beach. Oh, I just fucking this. It just, I just lost it. They have a spicy cornbread. That's fucking. That weird. will fucking blow your mind, dude. Okay. Fucking, spicy cornbread, bro. Their mac and cheese uh-huh. banger. Okay. Their their fried chicken banger. Okay, dude. Let's uh before anything, I want to talk about your mac and cheese here because uh we went to a place that we go to uh, oh, locally. Even, you're just trying to get me fired up. No. Uh, so I'm fired up. Yeah, okay. you're trying to get me fired up. All right, so Daniel had gone to this place beforehand, right? This place opened up what? I want to say- Put some context though, because I'm a food snob. We were at a restaurant. I'm a Yelper. We were at a restaurant. You've been to this restaurant before. Hundreds okay? of times. You've been to this restaurant before. When you had gone in the past, this restaurant had a side dish of mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. So you could order your burger, and instead of fries, they'll give you mac and cheese. When you went to this restaurant slash bar with me, you were informed that they no longer have the mac and cheese as a side. I think she was making that up, bro. When you look at the menu, the mac and cheese is under the appetizers. And it's, I think, I want to say what, six bucks. It's like six, five or six, six bucks, bucks yeah. for the appetizer. They have a sides portion where they have the different sides you could get. And the mac and cheese was not on that. Mac and cheese is on this. This lady informs Daniel and says, we don't have a side of mac and cheese anymore. You proceed to have an argument with the waitress where you say, no, you guys had this. Of course. 
She says, no, but we can dude. figure something out. Is this wrong so far? No, dude. Yes, it's 100% wrong. How is it wrong? Because. Am I retelling this incorrectly? No, I think she was, not okay. you. You're okay. you're okay. Okay. It's her that was wrong. Okay. I think you're wrong. No. Impossible. You go to this restaurant and you say, you guys used to have this. So therefore, you guys still have it. Yeah. She says, we no longer have this. No, she said they never had it. Well, she's only been working there for like a year. That's, well, no, that's, but that's my point. You see what I'm saying? But How you, can you tell me you've never okay. had a dish when I, at the opener, son, when think, the Yelp event was going on, I, was there okay. in a banger eating mac and cheese, my fucking, fucking burger. I dog. think you were upset because they no longer had it. So what she did is that she said, well, we could work something out. Fucking and bitch. they brought you a smaller plate and they charged you $3. Yeah. Two, two or three other bucks. Of which you still said, yo, I got ripped off. I did. And you were complaining. And the burger was also fucking... The burger shrunk. I had a great time. Yeah, bro. But the food shrunk. Yeah. Dude. I, that's, you got a burger. I got a chicken sandwich. And let me the tell food, you. The food... No, no. I'm not saying I got the, the protein. Dude, I never once said... Oof. I never once said that the food was shitty. Okay. The quality of the food is banger. Okay. Someone said banger is annoying. Banger. Okay. Fucking piece of shit. Banger. Okay. Sub cinco. No, I'm on his side. I'm on your side, sub cinco nos. Banger, all right? Okay. Not everything's a banger. Everything's a banger now, bro. Oof and a banger. So, dude. Okay, but your complaint was that a restaurant changed and what it is they had. The example that I dude, gave the you. the portions changed. I don't mind. See, the two bucks, that was always a thing. Okay. The, the, the upcharge for the mac and cheese was always a thing, which is okay. I understand. Mac okay. and cheese is a separate dish on its own. Okay. But, dude, the burger, the mac and cheese. But your issue was with the mac and cheese. Telling me that because she said I was wrong. I was not wrong. Okay, but you're wrong for going into a restaurant and expecting to get something that they no longer had, Daniel. I think that's where it's wrong. That's why you like my mom because my mom does the same shit. I was with my mom when the car hit me, when I was hit by a Central American on a vehicle and went to McDonald's for breakfast. And she goes, hey, could you uh, get me this? But could you replace the bread with the muffin bread? And the lady's like, no, ma'am, I, I no can do that. I no can do that. And my mom went, Yes, you can. You could do it. I'm like, mom, you're screaming at the lady at McDonald's. She goes, no, they've done it for me. They've done this for me before. I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now in Mickey D's? So then later on, I'm like, yo, mom, you were kind of rude to that lady, man. You were kind of fucking rude to the lady. She goes, oh, I was rude, but they've had it before. I'm like, they might have had it before, but they don't have it now. All right. That's why you're biffles with my mom, dog. No, bro. because y'all have an unrealistic standard. No, no, bro. First of all, your mom cured me. I'm gonna leave that. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna stop there. Two. Nah, bro, but seriously, pig. Pig. Dog. I'm not complaining about the. Dude, they. they You were yesterday. Listen. You were yesterday. The upcharge. You're changing the story. I'm not hating on the upcharge. Dude, I'm not hating on the upcharge. You have changed your story. I'm not, dude. uh, Look, the upcharge, I'm okay with. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna charge me for this, for this, whatever fucking side dish I'm asking. Okay. But don't fucking. Okay. And then pfft, that was what I was really upset okay. about. But you got to understand that she was doing that. Because she's a fucking moron. But that's not on the menu. The side of mac and cheese is not Then on the how menu. do you come up with a price if it's not on the menu? She just said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put half. You can't, no, bro. That's not how that works, dog. I'm going to put half. That's not how that works, bro. So they made an exception for you. That's not how that works. First of all, I'm a Yelper. That's why I made the exception. They made you an Fuck exception. That that's why I don't go back. There's two places that are bangers that we don't go because... <sighs> that we don't go. I still go. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, it's good to know. The pay cake. I still go. All right. Fucking I still go. Then I see I'm where like, the loyalty is. And the other place is the place that told you you couldn't have your laptop out. Who? Oh. Yeah. Who tells you you I can't have a fucking laptop? I agree with you there. Okay. There's a place. All right. Down here. We like. We enjoyed it. Let me tell you, this place is one of my favorite places in all of Miami. All right. Teen Tai Cafe. All right. This place was <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> what? What you say? Teen How'd Tai you- Cafe. <laughs> All right. I didn't want to say tinta y café. Is that what you want me to say? Tinta y café. You want <laughs> that me was to the pr- most Asian thing ever. Pronounce it like a fucking, like, actually. Ugh. So there's this fucking restaurant. Okay. We were there with the intent of having coffee and preparing for the show. Mm-hmm. About yeah. a year, yeah. year ago. La, la. No, I wasn't that Months long, ago. Dude. Months it ago. It was like maybe. I was handicapped. Yeah. Yes. You were I was handicapped. Yeah. Okay. So it was like, what, five months ago? Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. And then you, put, you take out your laptop. Oof. And that lady says... No, no, no. It wasn't even the owner. 
Yeah. It was the employees, and they they walked up to us like yeah. we were committing a crime. They're like, oh, you're okay. Yeah, remember, right, remember right, how right, they yeah. like, yeah. hey, 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 you can't have your laptop open here, bro. Dude, the owner's walking around. She'll get upset. So you can't have your laptop out because the owner is going to get upset that you took your laptop out. And you know what's the part that breaks shop, my heart, bro? In a coffee shop. Here, here's 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 yeah. how heartbroken and devastated I was because of this. How? One, the place is a banger. It's a fucking great place. It's a fantastic the place food. to eat. They're fucking every dish there that I because I've always tried like a different every time. Every time is a fan, is a fantastic. I've dish. tried to trip them up. I've tried to go then I'm like, let me get that fucking jelly sandwich, you piece of shit. Banger. You can't make a jelly sandwich that's good, dude. They're jelly with like turkey and shit they got mm. jelly on turkey that's fucking that sounds like a banger on a baguette mm. yeah but then they made the same they made a they made a decision when they said hey you can't bring your laptop back i'll still go there i don't give a fuck i'm a slut i mean i'll still go there because you're you're not loyal bro cody nottingham cody nice to see you man he says can we get a tutorial of the royal family what's the royal family could you put the no you can't put the link uh if you could look it up on youtube look up royal family I'm trying to remember what this guy's name was. You remember? Uh, Even Rob got. How did Rob get his fucking jerseys for? I got my fucking jerseys, and I was like backer number fifteen, Damn bro. Dog. You sorry? Him. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. What am I looking for, bro? Uh, look up royal family. I want to say David Cooper. Fucking royal family. David Cooper on YouTube. Royal, royal family is a part of the. Uh, you know the family. escape. If a card committed a crime, could have made it. Could have make its escape. That guy. So it's the same dude. We're looking at this live. Uh, okay, do you see it there? Royal family. Dalton Stout. Dave Did you Cooper. say David Cooper? Dave Cooper. Yeah. Royal family. Dave yeah. or I uh, put David. Let me put Dave. Maybe that Dave Cooper. Because I'm getting like the royal family and getting a bunch of memes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On YouTube. Oh, on YouTube. I'm yeah, sorry. YouTube. It's sorry, a video. Sorry, sorry. Uh, so this is the same person I made Escape, which is a legendary video, uh, which is the uh, the trailer for probably what has to be the greatest trick. I'm still convinced to this day that based on that trailer escape is this that this is fucking escape based on that trailer is this that's what i'm convinced he said is a card if a card committed a crime could oh, it make it escape a gordito a gordito oh, fuck. all right come on dude i'm no convinced one, no one's here gonna talk here about this guy he did this thing on I'm the video he does this though. this is my favorite thing he does in the oh, trailer escape is that even es escape yeah he goes he does this like that remember that in the video they show him setting up the thing and he goes oof like that and then they put Can I show it? Na, na. do you have royal family it's it's showing well it's not royal family it's escape by david am i looking for something else you're looking for royal family oh, by the same person royal this is why i pay you the big bucks daniel i pay you the big bucks so you could get this right okay A video right there and the video's not shown by that i don't know if that's something you think no no i'm not I'm, I'm still looking okay Oh, but, okay, uh, I found it. I found legendary. It. That's Dude, probably 62 views. Yeah. That's how epic this guy's same, been. Same channel? Same channel, right? It was a mesh in 2012. They released the effect. Oh my God, this guy. Let me just make sure. Is the video playing? Yeah. No, no, I'm just making sure that this is what it is. Okay. okay. It's in a dark. It's very dark. You can barely say anything. Yeah, let's check this out. I can't hear it, by the way. They're, they could be able to hear it, but I'm not going to be able to hear it. Do I turn out the volume? No, just play. Play. Yeah. Play it as it is. Hope it's not too loud. This is a production we have here on the channel. This is the sort of production value that we bring in to the uh, to the foray here. The audio is good. Okay. So Taypig, thank you, Taypig. I appreciate it. Are you showing it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's showing. It's you know what? It might be that I'm on a fat delay. I'm on the fattest delay. That's what it is. Okay. Is your thing live? You yeah, don't have to update live, the live. Okay. okay. So. There's a lot happening right now. This guy has uh, some cards. Oh, and he has Monarchs too, bro. Ooh, when I got those video? Monarchs back there. When did this video come out? Uh, 2012, it says here. 2012, so this guy's innovating, right? He's Oof. got a bunch of cards. Uh, I like the, the Moose Knuckle. I love knuckle. how Omar calls when we're live. I see the Moose Knuckle. You could take it. So this guy's got Moose Yo. Knuckle. Oh, and they're the Royal Flush. Are you outside? He's got the Royal Flush out here. Oh my goodness. And okay, no, you could cancel that. So I don't know what the trick was. The trick was he dealt five cards on the table and they were the roar flush. I feel like looking at that, <laughs> you could you could take it off. No, but there's audio. Oh, okay, delay. I need to get used to the fact that our production value is to the point where um, it doesn't make sense because I'm seeing five seconds in the past. So we got uh, we got the boy here. Okay. So we got a special in-house guest. Uh, who may or may not be upset when it comes to uh, 
him seeing the production value of the show. The yeah. So we can try to fit, uh... I, this is we're showing behind the scenes here, though. This is like there's. I, I think you should maybe get that chair, Daniel. There's no way. No, let. There you go, perfect. Get that chair. No, bro, that's my chair. How am I gonna fit this chair here, bro? You could use. What do you mean? Okay. Perfect. All right. I'm upset at you already. Just based. So he's gonna sit here. Nice to you, bro. The production value here is fucking astonishing. This looks like a fucking like he's gonna show up and there's like terrorist stuff happening. This is why I need a new producer. Pick with two e's at gmail.com. Okay, that's what I'm looking for here. I'm not looking for uh, somebody that doesn't know how to manage a chair. I want somebody that knows how to manage a chair that brings in a chair that fits and not this. What are you gonna see? Half his body? What are you gonna see? Half of it? It's ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, this is what we do here. All right, this is how we bring the production value to the table. If you guys like this sort of production value, smash the like button. If you guys, if you guys missed the old streams. <laughs> before any production value i don't know put an f in the comments or whatever uh so i don't even know is he here what are you you're pretending like like you can't tell me behind the scenes no okay okay thank you i appreciate that that's fucking terrible so apparently we're gonna interview uh gentleman awake but i don't know if he's here or not because he's on miami time uh we're supposed to be out of here by eight and it's eight thirty-seven because apparently that's how we do things based on uh, timing and a lack of communication. But that's fine. Uh, <laughs> Battle feeling says F. This is some dark web shit. I first came across our boy David Cooper. All right, I first came across him with that escape video and I didn't think it was real. I did some research and it's 100% real. David Cooper and uh, that whole thing, they legitimately came up with, a, um, with this trick. I don't know if they sold it or not. That's the only thing I'm trying to find out. But unfortunately, the Wayback Machine doesn't have that website because it's too deep web. It's it's some inner QAnon sort of deep web hiding of that website. But I'm 100% convinced that that escape with David Cooper is just this. Him doing this. Him doing that with the card. I'm about a thousand percent convinced. I've done research to the point of autism. Looking through his stuff. Making sure that <laughs> this is... <laughs> legitimately um legitimately uh not a meme because if it's a meme it's the greatest meme of all time all right he's there if a playing card committed a crime couldn't make couldn't make its escape you can't make that shit up so uh why are you saying f i said put an f in the comments if you like the show before the production value and you put an f daniel you can't even uh you you're you're john Kerry right now you're being john Kerry. you're being a flip-flopper you can't have we can't have a this sort of production value in the show and i'm glad how he keeps me out of the loop so it's like oh hey is the gentleman awake here i don't know i don't even know so what do you guys want to talk about what do you guys want to talk about oh man what's going on for thanksgiving it's uh you know i, I don't realize that it's strictly american thing and to assume that people celebrate it outside of the uh the united states it's uh ignorant because other people don't celebrate it same thing with halloween so you see it is he here is he here what is this man why do you look like a like a chill guy man <laughs> like a chill guy. you're looking like a chill guy what do you think of the production value first of all first of all i love this set that you have so okay it's pretty great this is why okay so i i do we tell him what we wanted to do or no no, oh, but you can do it another time. Okay, yeah, you're right. So we had something planned for you. Can you hear me? Yeah, they could definitely my audio coming, coming in loud and clear. This is 4K, bro. <laughs> 4K. It's a 4K and I think yeah, I'm Don't good. fucking laugh sarcastically. I, I feel like I'm sitting on the wrong side of you. Uh, like all the, yeah. the late night shows. It's so the, okay. The, the right. host well, we had the thing. I mean, has I'm to sit. I'm put you there with the camera there. The host has to sit on the left side. Okay, well, I'm on. You're, you're hosting me now. <laughs> I'm That's hosting you. Is. You're, you were right. interviewing you. Right. Okay. So you showed up here. Uh, could you explain your thought process in, uh, uh, mm -hmm. in what? Because mm -hmm. we said, hey. One. Okay, number up? one. Number one, everybody out there watching this. Um, I asked Daniel, that, that gentleman over there with the beard, uh -huh. uh, what time you guys were starting. And okay. his response to me was, and I quote. <laughs> He's got the receipt. <laughs> He's got the receipt. Uh, so it's on you. 
This is the production that we bring here. Okay. My, hey, the response was... I hate how handsome you look. What time are you going live? Okay. I wrote. He goes, we go live every Wednesday at 8, okay. 9, or 10-ish, whenever. That was his response. How was I supposed to know you were going to start at 7 o'clock? So it's on Number you. Number one. That's a banger, bro. So this Number is your one, fault. That was a fucking banger. Number one, how am I supposed to know you're starting at 7 o'clock? Okay. All right. Well, uh, that's his fault. Uh, number two. Okay, so I'm I'm sweating because of how upset I am right now. All right, I'm I'm upset because I thought I thought this was clear. I thought the communication line here no, was, clear. It was not clear. But it turns out the way he responded to you was a fucking joke that he's been trying to push. Can I ask you? Because I don't know if you've heard this thing on our uh, bio for Instagram, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. And the way Daniel came up with this thing. Yeah. It was amazing. What time do we start the show? He goes, oh, we should do this thing. We should put it on the bio. We start at 8-ish, 9-ish, or 10-ish. Ooh. Could you explain to me? Could Ooh. you explain? Could you try to figure out the humor in that is? Uh, I, you know, I don't get it. I, I don't get, get it about, either. Like he much of what he does, I don't understand. So. That, look, at, you're on a 720p. So we already, we've already failed on your benchmark of having minimum no, 4K. No, no, no. I, I don't see my bowl of green M&Ms. Okay. That, that was in my I rider. Ate them. That was all I had. That was all I had. That was in my rider and yeah. it's not. Okay. Well, we don't have that. We uh, don't even have a, we're actually going to probably have like you sign a, a non-disclosure agreement <laughs> as you leave just to, just to be safe here. What can we ask you, man? You're here for the first time ever. What can we ask I'm, you? I'm in awe of this set. For, I mean, what? I've only seen it on, on TV. What are you all about? I've only seen it on TV. So to actually be here, okay. it's, it's an honor. Okay. Because uh, uh, say that. Well, what is it that, uh, what is it about the set? I feel like you didn't hype my appearance on the show i feel like you i knew you were going to be upset about that i knew you were going to be upset i feel about like that. like you should have hyped it okay it should have been a thing okay i think we said your name like at least 22 times but i uh, doesn't i feel it, like okay. there, sh- there should have been some cross promo some some instagram posts well that's on you too social media that's outreach. on you too no you i i would that. have i totally would have but i had no confirmation of the time well you did apparently eight nine or ten or whenever or whenever i fucking i want to yeah. shoot up a school so, right now I so want to you know. shoot up heroin right now just to forget <laughs> everything. I'm glad that you don't have a mic right now. I'm glad you don't have a fucking mic right now. Oh, he Jesus. doesn't have oh, because I'm using his microphone. Because you're using the lab mic. Yeah, uh, we, this is how little prepared this is, we were. This is how. This is how little. No, I'm seeing. I'm seeing the very technical setup you guys have here. It's very technical. I, you know, I, I knew it was gonna be shitty about the uh, the production valley that we uh, shared. Very here. very technical. Do we have any I, questions? I love that the that all of the lenses uh, are <laughs> about smudged. the size of like my thumb. <laughs> my, uh, well, they're they're cell phone lenses technically. They're, technically, uh, cell phone lenses. sensors. Yeah, yeah, but that's you know we're more about substance than than quality. I don't even know if they have sensors per se. It might just be some kind of okay. you know archaic technology. If it makes you feel better, they're not on auto, so it's not like uh, they're, it. they're no, manually oh, set. They're manually yeah. set. Oh, yeah. Nice. So we're that, we're that, that F twenty two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's open as as fat as it is right now. This right. could see like the sun right. from how uh, from yeah. how open from, it is. Yeah. Uh, so hold up. What's your favorite magic book? Says Boss Magic. Well, you're not really a. No, I'm not much of a magician, Boss Magic. Which is why you're married. Correct. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Yeah. But then you got. I into do it. like. I do enjoy magic. Okay. Uh, however, as a uh, card reviewer, I come from. I come to magic from the point of view of the. Um, collector of playing cards. Is that what you describe yourself as, like a, a card reviewer? Not per se, okay. but that's you know what I primarily uh, make videos. Okay, uh, geared okay. towards. Okay, that's funny. Uh, so that's good though because um, you kind of remove yourself from the awkwardness and the shittiness that comes with being a magician and the depression mm-hmm. and the social isolation. I, I guess I, you know, I'm taking your word for it. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm telling you based on somebody that hasn't already trapped a wife. Right, right. Because you got into right. this stuff uh, post post marriage. Post marriage. Okay, yeah. that's the that's the key. I think that's that the key. A, that's a critical step. You can't do it while you're. Imagine you're dating. Hey, you want to see a card trick? You, she's gonna get drier than uh, <laughs> drier than. So somebody says, "Pick cake." What's your favorite book? Um, I was gonna make like a really insensitive joke, but I don't think I could do that. It's off brand to you. It's off brand. You gotta, you know, be on I, your brand. You know, yeah, come on. Because YouTube already screwed me up, so I feel like uh, ter- that's a good question. How much? Okay, Piggy, how much do you bench? I want to ask you, how much did you bench? Uh, how uh, much do you? I bench? don't, but I don't know what I currently bench right now. But it's not a lot. Emotion, like do you bench? But uh, the, I was never like a. I was. I always joked. Naturally, that's well. I always had joke. Okay. I always joked that I had pretty muscles because okay. 
they weren't functional. They're, okay, so the show. I mean, so like this, like the most I ever benched was probably like one eighty five or two hundred okay. pounds. So it wasn't that's, a lot. That's 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 the that's pretty. One thing no, that I've been for doing, my size, I'm six feet tall, so showing off. Yeah. Okay, but I'm just saying it's not that it's not that much considering that I probably at the time I weighed one eighty five, so I was literally benching my own body weight, which is not. One thing that I don't notice that what scares me is that I've done this on a consistent basis and you've never told me mm -hmm. uh, like, hey, dude, you need to stop this. Uh -huh. Right. What's that? What I'll do is randomly, uh -huh. like maybe two in the morning. <laughs> what I do is that I'll go to your personal Instagram and I'll like like four or five pictures of you, maybe shirtless. I have. I can I make a confession? Okay. I don't go on my Instagram very often. OK. I thought you still got the notifications. Um, I go I go on my I go on the gentleman wake Instagram okay. on my personal okay. Instagram. Don't I go. don't typically see it. Mm. Uh, but now that you're telling me that, I'll, yeah. I'll be more aware. Okay, so that kind of sucks because yeah, I really I wish. Because <laughs> you've been investing yeah. all this time. Yeah, in, in I told I told Liza. I told Liza. So what That's I would funny. do is that I would go to your personal and then I would like a bunch of pictures from like years ago. Your right, shirtless. Like at two in the morning. Like is there like doing the, <laughs> like just flexing everybody. And then I was liking that. I was doing one of your two poses. One, and one of the two. I'm poses. glad you were watching. I'm Ooh, glad wow, you were watching. And I was listening. Ooh, I was in the car. What do you take that? As a former, like, as a former, I don't want to say, I want to say puto. Papi chulo. Papi? Still current poppy. Let's right. be honest. No, but I'm married now, so you're married. I'm yeah, like, which is I'm like dad bod. Probably my least happy uh, bod. <laughs> my least favorite quality of you is the fact that you're taken. Right. Well, <laughs> that's my least favorite thing. But I wish mean? that you were. Uh, hold up. Somebody says, uh, waiting for those parlor decks. Is the gentleman gonna come with a second series? Ooh. Oh, good question. Are you? Good question. Good question. Uh, the parlor decks should be in your hands. Relatively soon, I would imagine uh, the fulfillment's going to start probably in this week upcoming. I actually almost passed out right now. I'm kidding. <laughs> I tried to do it as a joke, but it didn't. <laughs> it didn't work. No, I fucking almost died. You know what it is that I've had twelve ounces of. You know what this is? What is that? It's orange Bud Light. That's gross. You've had this in your fridge. I bought this as that's, a joke. That's gross. I bought it as a it's joke. Always, it's like it's like Mike's Heart Lemonade. Worse. <clears throat> it's orange, orange flavored Bud Light. Dude, when I cracked it open, yeah. the, the stitches was. Ugh. I had an orange uh, flavored. That sounds terrible. Uh, what was that? Uh, Angry Orchard, not Angry Orchard. Uh, apple ale. Remember, oh, I went yeah. to Seven Eleven. I had yeah, a thirty-two yeah. ounce apple shit. That, that shit, shit put me out. Yeah. Yeah. I woke up the next day. Like, where am I? It's homeless beer. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, so you were teasing your deck. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. So yeah, there is a second uh, deck. There is actually two projects uh -huh. uh, incoming. Um, we're going to see. Uh, something again in in uh, conjunction with Stockholm 17. Yes. Okay. And then there is something else uh, that is also being worked on by another artist that I've teased. Okay. You've teased uh, him. He's an artist that's worked on uh, several best-selling uh, playing card decks. Just this year, he released, I believe, three different. Uh, okay. Why are you card keeping? Decks. Why are you keeping him? DL. Well, because you know, I I although the ink is dry on the contract. Um, I we haven't seen Who's we that? haven't seen. Uh, He's making a guess as to who I don't know is. what that is. What is that supposed to mean? I think that's uh, him being uh, eight. Uh, uh -huh. no. no, no. Can we get a zoom in and see how that looks like? Let me see the zoom. <laughs> Just the back of the card. But I will say, when my top ten video, top ten decks of twenty nineteen video comes out, <laughs> of course. Uh, top 10 I, top uh, which decks. will happen the last week of this year Ooh. okay we're going to see uh we're gonna, we'll have a more more details as to okay. the idea, process no no i haven't even shown on my deck by the way yeah i, I mean I, that could very much that could land on the on the top 10 list perhaps it could be i just want i don't like that you showed them i, I didn't want to no, show them i don't want that one I didn't want to show him because you kept uh, no, it initially you kept me in the dark with this. It like, initially I, was like a running gag that he's like, dude, when are you going to show me? And then I had him. I just forgot to send him to you. And then now, mm -hmm. no, like, mm -hmm. legit. I just yeah. forgot the, are you calling me a liar? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't I wouldn't know. lie to you. I want to sleep with uh, you. Why would I <laughs> lie to you? Oh, no. so I, I, I feel I like, just, what is it? Craig Ferguson, the, the, you know the late night host Craig Ferguson? Uh, he always hits on the girls that he that he has on his. Is he still around? Yeah, he's still he's still. Yeah, he still has it. Carson Daly, Carson Daly oh, is the man. one that I'm thinking. He got replaced Carson by uh, Lily Singh. Ugh. Car Li oh yeah, God! By, a bunch of people. by some Indian, right? By a bunch uh, I'm not a fan of Lily Singh. No, <clears throat> no. That... I, I respect what she's done, and she's you know obviously been very successful. But man, I, I do not find her entertaining. Okay. That's funny. I really don't like her. I think I don't, she's I don't find her entertaining. I think uh, I think she has like a little bit of she 
that, you know, kind of lands in a little bit of one note. It says, uh, Piggy, Gentleman Wake, Daniel Swimsuit Calendar. Cool. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, that's that could be in the works. That could yeah. be a bonus Showing for off the, my dad bod. That, you have a poppy bod. It's different. The poppy, the poppy bod. Poppy bod. You have a body that uh, <laughs> that used to be poppy. <laughs> if I could, no, it's not anything used to. You know what it is right now? Right now, you look seasoned. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, seasoned. Like seasoned. before, it's like, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. But now I know you know what you're doing. Right. You know it's what true. I mean? It's true. Yeah, yeah and I I know what I'm true. doing too. This is absolutely. <laughs> uh, I know what I'm doing. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, you know. Okay. I'm gonna go. <laughs> so hold up so some people are asking what are your favorite decks favorite decks of all time yeah hmm um you know what i actually uh probably my favorite deck of all time is the pagan deck by usi okay um, you can look that up pagan deck yeah as a producer uh that deck i actually reviewed it this uh i reviewed a version of it this year a couple months ago okay um, That's it's hot. really cool. It's it's the artwork's fantastic, and actually the version that I reviewed was Expert Playing Card Company Taiwan. Okay, and it's excellent. It handles excellently. It's I really cool. like what's going on in Taiwan. Pagan, now. P A G A N. By who? Uh, Usi. U uh, U S I is the name of. The that sounds like a move, like a sex move. They Usi. they're like it's a uh, Peter Dunham and Linnea Gitz are okay. a husband and wife. Oh, that's cute. Uh, artist team. So, yeah, so they're both uh, that they work out issues. of Yeah, they work out of, like, Wisconsin, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think they're either in Minnesota or Wisconsin. And they, um, they've they made several decks, like six decks now. And this particular deck, uh, the Pagan deck, that? is really cool. Why'd I see a baby? Oh, look now. Okay, I saw a child on the stream. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. So, yeah, so that's the deck. Okay. Look at the quality on this shit. Oof. Look at the shot. Look at the precision. Which, by the way, I have I have upgraded my quality. That's nice. I so got, so, so we we got a lenses. We got a, a thirty camera. Ten eighty. The there's a, do you have a hand cam? There's there's things happening, man. I don't know what you're uh, you're shitting on the setup. Uh, video lights, right? Yeah. How much? How much did we? Uh, that looks like well, the a mission itself was a fucking to get the light bulb. What are, uh, what's what video yeah, store did you get this from? Home Depot. <laughs> video store. I like the umbrella. Is that an actual umbrella that you just <laughs> set up? <laughs> That's. I don't like your tone, honestly. Uh, is that an actual umbrella? Like, if it rains outside, can I also a, uh, go out there a, with the? It was part of a kit. Okay, uh, it was part of a part kit. of a kit. All right. I don't like your tone, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> It was I gonna uh, still something I was gonna say uh, I was gonna ask you but then I totally forgot because I just got lost looking at you. I have that effect. So, I have that effect on people. Definitely. Thank God I'm sitting down. <laughs> but the Payton deck is your favorite. You know, my deck? Uh, it's one of my favorites. I would. Okay. I, I can't say for sure that it's my favorite because I haven't really uh, sat down and and like said, okay, this is my favorite deck of all time. Okay. But you know, obviously they're different decks for different purposes. Um, Obviously, I'm partial to the parlor. Okay, that's that a little sense, bit uh, right? unfair. That's you biased. Know, that's, you know, of course, that's biased. Okay. But, you know, I'm partial to that deck. But there are other decks like the Cobra deck from yeah. uh, JP Games, which I love that deck. Uh, the House of the Rising Spades mm. is a great deck. I like those. Uh, Jackson Robinson has like five decks that I think are, are phenomenal. Um, okay, but that's you know, enough card the, talk. You know, the, the, the first playing card that's cool. from Chris Ramsey. Yeah, man, that's fun. How about you, yeah. man? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. You're doing good. I'm doing good. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Uh, so good, this thing, you know, like, trying, trying, trying to get over the uh, YouTube uh -huh. um, slump. The YouTube slump. The um, sophomore slump. Let's call it. You know, I've heard you could get over like slumps. The second year, the second year YouTube is rough. Okay. Uh, you so interrupted. You're not, you're not new and shiny anymore. You interrupted something that I was gonna say. Oh, I was gonna say was you could get over a slump with a hump. Oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? A hump. Sure. Right. Yeah, you're married, you. unfortunately. I got you. I get. Yeah. But I have regular humps. But your wife's busy, though. I mean, so mm -hmm. what she doesn't know doesn't hurt, right? <laughs> Watch this. Is that a zoom? Can you get a zoom? In? Am I on the? We have a meme here, but uh, what's the meme? The meme is a zoom in. So you, uh, if you so, press the button, it zooms in. But unfortunately, right now, because of the uh, the lack of production value, uh -huh. uh, and there's also a delay because right, we don't a have a live feed. Right. This We're seeing it as they see it. Right. Yeah. I so I you normally have a live feed up there. There you go. Yeah, but uh, the cable short. You gotta uh, understand. I all right. Oh, I like that. I like how you guys solve the problems. Yeah. Really. You really solve those problems. I don't like your fucking tone. That <laughs> tripod looks like it could hold like three pounds. My my if, mom gave me a tripod. Lucky. 
my mom gave me a tripod before she passed away. So. <laughs> passed passed away. How's that funny? I don't understand. Uh, I'm gonna have Thanksgiving tomorrow. Find my mom who gave uh, me that tripod and her dying breath, and you're laughing. <laughs> that tripod, that tripod's special. Yeah, it was a hand me down. She handed it down. From, uh, it has like a little. It has like a the little mid, It has like a little mid tier spreader. Hold on a second, guys. I think you guys need to see this this tripod. You oh. know what I'm talking about here. This this. This tripod right here, look at that. It's got that, that nice mid-tier spreader, uh, that nice mid-tier spreader, and you got. Uh, I don't like. You know, I don't you got like that this. little hand crank. You got a little hand crank at the top there to, to, to you know, to give Can it a little you, extra height. I like the printer, by the way, it's with nice. the parking it's ticket. Nice. We, is there a parking ticket for real? Yeah, a parking, parking ticket, ticket there. right there. Like you fucking. Did you pay that? Yeah. You paid that parking that. ticket. Oh. You know, I've always thought as a uh, as a prank that's terrible. You walk around the beach like at maybe nine or ten, where people. Um, or whenever. I'm gonna fucking shoot up a school. Listen. Uh, so how many? Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna interrupt you because the story is boring. How many uh, viewers do we currently have? Right, thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. <laughs> yeah. You did not hype this enough. I didn't hype it enough. I'm sorry. I apologize. Listen, this enough. is last minute. Don't don't shit. All right, thirty-seven is better than thirty-seven. I expected to have at least fifty-seven people. At least fifty-seven. Okay, well, listen. There's only thirty-seven. We should have blasted this out on the. You listen. You have an Instagram as well. Yeah, all right. I know. You I also have your put a story up. personal account. You could have gone to your personal people, account. Maybe people like on Instagram would have like seen this and would have shown up to to see. But we can do this again. We could do this again. We can do can this we again. Show his wife a little bit. I, yeah, we can do that. I'd rather not talk about my competition, but. <laughs> No competition, guys. No competition. <laughs> we work a lot on your on your wife's channel, and uh, your wife has probably one of my favorite characters, uh, Jerry. Yes. Uh, who's uh, I think we're scheduling an interview. Yes. All right. I think so. Jerry wants to. Jerry is Jerry's an avid. Uh, she's like an avid searcher of the next thing. I'm glad you didn't like you know? dead name Jerry. So you said he. <laughs> yeah. Right? No. He's he is. He. J Jerry is like he's a, he's always searching for the next big thing. Okay, you know, and he recently actually had the the uh, privilege of sitting down with one of the Godfathers of cardistry. Okay, are you gonna say who? Um, he's he is one of two people that are definitely that's really funny. Uh, one of two trying people. to you know a pair like a, a they're they're one of two okay people yeah. Uh, who really have they have an art should i give you a dollar uh, for, to tell for me? the way they play should i give you like a, a dollar to tell me who should i give you like a is that how it a works? dollar is this like another meme no it's a, it's a, what's what's another word for a dollar uh oh no no thanks you, you get it do you get it now a do you understand no what different ways mean? people say dollar uh, uh, uh oh hey do you have a uh, on you yeah, yes. Sure. Yes. See what yes, I thank you. Yes. See, this is next level. But I'd rather have like the a two dollar. You see what I'm saying? I want to. Do you have a two dollar bill? No, uh, I don't have a two dollar bill because there's two of them. Yes, That's but the they're, joke. yeah, it's kind of um, yeah. There's two of them. Anyway, so Jerry, Jerry, yeah, Jerry had a chance to sit down and have an interview. Okay. Uh, but his second interview, mm -hmm. uh, he wants to you know come on this show and then okay and have a sit That's down cool. talk. We can I do requested that. that Jerry call in and leave us a voicemail. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I can, I can, you know, I'll tell Liza to call him and, you know, arrange and arrange. This. I feel like it's like uh, Santa Claus at this point that it's like you gotta make sure not to break the illusion and it's right. uh, no, oh, no, no, tell, what illusion? have Liza tell like, Jerry. He's a real person. I, uh, I and quite frankly, I'm offended. People are asking what's behalf. the Lady Wakes channel, Liza Quinn, it's right? Real. Liza Quinn, Liza could, Quinn. As an administrator, Daniel, you could oh, yeah. copy and paste. You put it. You could copy and paste it in the chat because you're right. a. Not here. Oh, you can't do that. Okay, I, I haven't given you those privileges. Okay, this is what I uh, I pay this guy the big bucks. Right? That's what's why that, he, that's that's why he is the Ed McMahon to your Johnny Carson. He is, and he didn't even he put on a fit cake shirt today. You're Andy Richter. Andy Richter, you said it. Pre you see, you yeah. I forgot when you said uh, Andy Richter yeah, the other Andy. day. He says you're Andy. Well, that's Richter. pretty accurate. Yeah. Uh, when do you want to head out of here? Um, I think we should probably mm -hmm. skedaddle. Yeah, I think so. It's been a pleasure though. Thank uh, you for having me. Oh, trust me, the pleasure is mine. Thank you for having me. Well, we only half had you, right? So I want right. to full have you. Okay, I mean, we no, we can definitely. You too. No, no, no. I'm, uh, we're, we're, hey, we're you gonna, know what's funny about we're that? We're gonna come. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I had a whole thing planned for you. Uh, I, what I next time I come here though, I want to be sitting on the 
on the other side because this is not cool. You don't like that? Wait, we, like we're gonna put something we're gonna put you over there. Yeah, gonna, no, no, no. It's gonna water, have to be like a little like has to be. I want it to be like a professional setup. Some, we'll accommodate you on the right side. On the like, right I side. want like a studio audience. Okay. You know. At this point, you're asking for too much. <laughs> you're just gonna show up and you're gonna get us. If, if you don't like it, well, you know. Honestly, I'm. I don't know what because I still want you in my life. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, gentlemen, Wake, for showing up to the the studios, UME Studios, Florida. We're gonna have another live stream on Wednesday of next week. And today, um, do you have any parting words? I usually make it up at the end. Um, no. Support your local blacks. Ugh. <laughs>